scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Become the kingdoms of the Lord. So take me, break me, fix me, Lord, and make me say, ready to go, ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. Just like your battle axe, Lord, sharpen my edges and make me useful for you so I can be ready to go, say, ready to go. ministers are ready we will begin to release them as arrows to the wall many of you will wonder why we have such great talents and they are just still in the school of the spirit there is a standard we want to lift hallelujah and when when God grants us access like arrows in the quiver of a man one by one they will go to the nations of the earth this is just one of the songs ready to go Ready to go, ready to go, very simple song, I am ready to go, hallelujah, the first time I heard the song I said that's right, this, these are not songs to look for money with, these are songs that direct the army of God, hallelujah, powerful song says there is a call there is a need for someone to go and take the land he said i have the call and i see the need but i do not think i'm strong enough but there is a prophecy that the kingdoms of this world will become the kingdoms of our god and of his christ and so take me on account of this prophecy use me and make me ready to go jeremiah 51 ready to go Oh, ready to go you'll come up and sing it again later on ready to go it's a very powerful 
If you've not heard it, you can get it from him or the media people after the meeting. Powerful single. Musically sound. Prophetically sound. This is what we're releasing. Songs of the Spirit. I just sense that that is the song that describes what I'm about to teach tonight. We're rounding up the series and we'll pray tonight. Verse 20. Hallelujah. Want to read? For with thee I will break in pieces the nations. And with thee I will destroy kingdoms. Verse 21. And with thee I will break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee I will break in pieces the chariots and his rider. Lord, speak to us tonight. We're ready to go. Ready to go. We're ready to go. There is a call. There is a need. For someone to go and take the land I have the call and we see the need But we don't feel strong enough for this But the kingdoms of this world Have become the kingdoms of the Lord So take us, break us Break us and make us ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. Lord, we declare that we are available. As prophecy draws near. And that which has been spoken from the mouth of the prophets cries for fulfillment. We declare that you find a people ready to go. In the name of Jesus, sharpen us, O oh God. Let our tears not stop you. Let our limitations and the pain that comes with wearing this flesh not stop us. We pray that you advance in your dealings in our lives until we become an object of praise your battle acts indeed we give you the praise and the glory in the name of jesus christ god bless you walk to 10 people and tell them i'm ready to go hallelujah We started a series called The Imagines, a series that attempts to prepare us for the inevitable manifestation of the church. We have seen the signs and we have read the writings on the wall that the season is near. We are more than ever before in the heart of prophecy as a congregation of God's people. And it is very important, as you will be learning today, that there will be a sharpening, a dealing volume, please. There will be a building of the spirit. And this is my passion. God is going somewhere with us. As we travel around this nation, strengthening the body of Christ and contributing our quota to the building of this army I see how possible this prophecy is day in day out week in week out I see that the spirit of God is strong upon this nation hallelujah and we will not fail him hallelujah I assure you that the church will not fail because Christ himself will build the church hallelujah 
So we spoke first and foremost about the prophecy. How that there is a prophecy upon the church. Many prophecies scattered in scripture. How that there will be an emergence of the body of Christ. And um, Micah chapter 4 talks about the mountain of the Lord being lifted above every other mountain. Obadiah 1 21 says, Saviors shall arise from Zion and they will judge the mount of Esau. Hallelujah. Revelation 10 begins to tell us how that the kingdoms of this world where this song is. I think that this should be the, the theme song for this, this series. Hallelujah. And so there is a prophecy upon the church. A prophecy that announces the emergence of the church and the inevitable doom of Babylon. Last week we considered Babylon, the concept of the Antichrist system. Please listen to me. I want you to pay attention to this series because it represents the foundation of what the church is alive for right now. There are certain messages that if a preacher is not preaching in this day and in this season, it is a sign that he is not in touch with spiritual reality. Hallelujah. The Bible says the sons of Issachar had an understanding of the time and they knew what Israel ought to do. So we are not just bringing this as a... Can you help us? We are not just bringing this as a... A teaching just to keep time going it is very prophetic i want to do a quick recap on last week's message i'll try to be as simple because the goal is understanding not just to impress you with revelations i want us to understand this is the heart of the contention of the christian faith please let me have two people no don't worry pastor Femi, you can sit down Any two people one here one here God bless you. Hallelujah. The entire scope of the Christian experience is about the contention of two kingdoms, two governments, two entities. And humanity is the object of attention. On one side, there is a creator who is at the same time a king and a loving father who has manipulated history and has orchestrated eternity according to his predeterminate counsel. And there is a kingdom, a system, a government, an agenda, a strategy masterminded by this entity once called Lucifer. One who has made himself the arch enemy of the agenda of God. Are you following what I'm saying now? And humanity through civilization and as we have evolved as sociological beings have been shrouded from the reality that all there is to the existence of mankind as far as our dispensation is attempting to define is who truly owns the allegiance of mankind. Are you getting what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how many years you spend educating yourself. It doesn't matter any other thing you do. This is the prime, the apex of this. God committed all of his authority and his glory to one of these men. So that through dominion and reproduction, the influence of his government will fill this territory of his kingdom. And by treason and deception, man through the woman handed the authority, the government, the authority to order and structure the earth to Satan, Lucifer. And on the strength of that authority, he has gone to cause havoc upon the nations. It is for this purpose that Jesus came. He didn't just come to take us to heaven. He didn't just come to birth a religion. He didn't just come to make us Christians. He came as a sacrifice. Part of the legal procedures that will bring back man and humanity to his original blueprint. 
and that happened at the expense of his blood it happened at the expense of his glory it happened at the expense of his life hallelujah and then in spite of the death of Christ that has granted us access to now willfully declare our allegiance to his majesty through deception and witchcraft and manipulation of spiritual laws and the working of evil upon the mindset of people there is still a refusal from the kingdom of darkness to subscribe to what Christ has done. Although the price has been paid. Although access has been given to us. But because he made us free moral agents. It will be unscriptural and against his character. To impose his dominion upon us. So he gives us his spirit. To explain to us the reality of his agenda. That by understanding his agenda. We will see that he's not just a dictator. Who wants the allegiance of humanity. But also a father who seeks to raise a family. That can have a relationship. Hallelujah. And all through the years. The one gospel. That hell has attacked most. Is the gospel of the kingdom. An unveiling of the blueprint. Of God's intention. The prophecy for the nations. An unveiling of this system. That has masqueraded itself and evolved together with civilization. As we grew as mankind, the system grew with us. Hallelujah. And today, this system has, like an octopus, spread its influence across the strata of human existence. It has been the fabric of civilization. The ideas and the ideologies from this system has shaped our understanding of humanity. But there is still a cry that the kingdoms of this world must become the kingdom of our God. For many reasons. Number one, because the earth is the Lord's. Number two, because the price has been paid. Number three, because God is sovereign and the almighty. These attributes of God are the factors that give us the impetus to contribute our quota to seeing this agenda come to pass. Listen to me. If you live your life never understanding that this is the summary of of our Christian experience. An antichrist system. A system that was intentionally built. And the purpose. Is to create a platform. Where rebellion against God. Will become an institution. Not just an act. The same way corruption can be institutionalized. That's how this system of Babylon. At the heart of. Of the agenda of the antichrist system is to build a structure where rebellion becomes an institution that means it no longer it becomes an unconscious act that mankind by default will walk in rebellion against the government of god and listen there is a prophecy babylon the great this system will fall and I began to tell us last week, explaining to us the operation of this system, that the way this system works is that it keeps in itself all of the things that represent value for mankind. And then it will only ask you for one thing. Bow down to me and I will open the gates. Bow down to me and I will open the gates of marriage. Bow down to me and I will open the gates of politics and government. Bow down to me and I will open the gates of music and influence. And I reveal to us the reason why the media and especially the music industry is gaining ascendance. is a spiritual law. Because every time the allegiance of a people 
would be declared to a king, music will precede it. Right? In Daniel chapter 2 and 3, when you begin to read what happened to the three Hebrew boys, it says when you begin to hear the pipe and the horns, the moment you begin to hear musical sounds, what will you do? Let the whole land bow down to a graven image. Notice. Hold on. Let me explain something. Do you see the strategy of Babylon? Nebuchadnezzar never said bow down to me, but he created an image of him. Are you getting my point? He created an image of himself and dropped it. And he said, don't worry. If I say bow down to me, it may look deceptive. So bow down to the image. I told you that the goal of Babylon is to bow down to any other thing aside from the Christ. So you may say, I'm not bowing to Satan. But whatever else you bow down to outside of the Christ is him. Including ministry. Including anointing. As spiritual as they are, the seat of the Christian experience is not the anointing. It's not ministry. The seat of the Christian experience is not even Bible. The seat of the Christian experience is Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God. He is the object. Everything revolves around him. Jesus at the center of it all. That's how it is done. Jesus at the center of it all. Listen. This antichrist system has built different statues and has placed it all around. Right? And so what happens is through witchcraft and some level of intelligence that are superhuman, they seem to hoard the wealth of the world and then they begin to manipulate policies that will compel men to bow to the dictates, the speakings of the beast. Are you getting what I'm saying? And today, listen to me, I bring you a very sad news that a major part of humanity, please don't stop the strings, just play the strings. A major part of humanity are bowing down to Satan through many formats. Pastors are bowing down. Celebrities are bowing down. Students are bowing down. Workers are bowing down. So many people, poor people are bowing down. Wealthy people are bowing down. But because the system has masqueraded itself in secrecy, we do not really see the object of our allegiance. But the apostolic and the prophetic spirit comes to unveil the deception and reveal to the body that there is only one Lord. There is only one faith. There is only one baptism. This antichrist system has assumed different names, different bodies, different platforms, being deceived by themselves. Satan has even among them, Satan has orchestrated deception. So that it looks like they are fighting themselves, but the truth is that they are all a team. Is the extent of the deception. And the name that that body will assume before the return of Christ is the new world order. A structure and a system that attempts to unify humanity under one umbrella. The question is what is the umbrella? Are you interested in what I'm saying tonight? I'm just doing a recap of last week's message. One umbrella. And so the United Nations now unites all of the nations and then the African Union. All of these are formations of the Tower of Babel. They are already the foundations of the rebuilding of that godless system. Genesis 11 replaying itself again. Listen. I want you to forgive me because I, I really would have played some documentaries. Hallelujah. I would have shown you documentaries where aliens what you call foreign bodies or whatever it is you want to use 
how they have assisted the technology of mankind until now some of the super intelligent inventions that have happened that we credit it to the wisdom of men was as a result of secret meetings and fraternities with demonic entities we will supply you a level of superior intelligence that will help to accelerate this agenda you will make money in the process but there is a deal and they never reveal the other side of the deal if i if i'm in a covenant with you the benefit is mutual we have seen what these demonic alien bodies have supplied to humanity but we have not seen what we pledge to them and it is happening fast now don't you ever say this does not concern you because very soon you will see how that the media and every aspect of human existence has been polluted and corrupted it used to be in secret but right now they have laid sufficient foundations and according to their structure like the titanic they are convinced that it will not crash so they are now coming in the open we are the ones we hold the power we hold the authority we hold your daily bread we hold the keys to your relevance we can shut your universities and open them when we want to we can shut the doors of wealth if we want to we can declare war in a nation if we want to you are seeing the formation of the antichrist government you better listen to this because you have confessed all your life that you will not die the meaning of that is you will be alive as you are right now you will see that formation but the part they do not understand is that there is an army hmm. i'm telling you every time i say this i feel excited there is an army see do you know how many centuries it took for satan to build this system to this level of sophistication there were times when the body of christ the church of god in the earth was so strong they would not even allow an iota of the antichrist system what the devil did was to sacrifice that generation and go for the ones to come are you getting my point he waited decades for the generation of the fathers that truly had reverence what he did was he led them through deception to be so occupied with ministry and revivals that they never paid attention to the generation coming are you getting what i'm saying so they were busy doing what they believed to be kingdom advancement and the devil started bringing messages that made them believe that jesus will come in their time so they felt there was no need to raise the younger generation because after all right what i'm telling you is something that happened in the maybe 30s 40s they said jesus would come certain heretic teaching started mixing up with revivals and they said jesus is coming there's no need teaching the younger generation and so at a point there was a period and a dispensation of time where the precepts of god was not handed over to the generation and then there were others that came in the 60s and 70s god's generals as we know and yet the devil kept quiet what he did was he started attacking those who are now the presidents of the nations he started following them when they were children when others said they are young just leave them what will they know and the devil said let's make this a 60 70 80 100 year project and all the reverends who serve god died and they buried them right all the mothers who will not hear a child say stupid or something they will beat his mouth american or no american the devil said let's be patient we can't stop them but they can they will die so let's be patient until they die look at me satan can be patient he can wait for a whole generation to pass while the this generation right now that are perpetuating how old are they most of the people who are the envoys of darkness especially in the music ministry <laughs> sorry in music what music industry they are not up to 30. i hope you know that it was a secret thing right now there are shows where people come and identify celebrities from childhood is that so 
That's the strategy of the devil. They identify them. Talent horns. If you are not talented, you are not needed in the rebuilding of Babylon. See that? So you come and sing and, and you sing as if you are talking. They shift you one side and they find the bright ones. And then they give them some money and their broke parents say, go. We believe in what God is doing through you. And now they sign contracts and they say, look, you are a machine. If we did not tell you, know it now. You are not a human being, you are a machine. What does a machine do? Perfect obedience. You own it, it remains on till you off it. It does not off by its initiative. We will give you money. We will put you on the scene so that you will use your influence to attract others. But behind the scene, you have sold your soul. Are you getting what I'm saying now? And when the devil realized that there were men and women of God who were noticing that something was wrong, he quickly manipulated the economy so that poverty becomes a serious issue and then they stop looking and they say okay, let's handle this issue and taught them wrong principles so that they will use the entire lifetime looking for money and not turn and say something is wrong there must be a correction are you getting what i'm saying everybody say babylon the antichrist system will fall say one more time babylon the antichrist system will fall this is the reason why somebody will go for a meeting abroad and come back and just look at your god-fearing mother and orchestrate a scandal that has no head and tail and fire them from the company immediately they are fired somebody comes in and now he says now we are the top members of the cabinet we represent the future of this company and we pledge our allegiance to the same deity. Right? Gradually, Jesus was taken out of media. They still left God. Not, if, you, if you bring in Jesus, there is trouble. They knew that if they take Jesus, God, you can leave angels, you can leave God, you can leave seraphs and cherubims. They removed Jesus, the center of everything. Later on, they started attacking God. Right? And then, when the grace message began to be exaggerated, they leverage on the exaggeration to remove the Ten Commandments. They say, after all, you hear what you are saying, you don't need it, let's get it out. But it was not about the object as it is about the person that was choking darkness. Notice this. They never said, don't stop serving Jesus. They started taking away emblems and things that represented the presence of the Christ in a territory. Listen, there is a reason why things are documented. Archaeology is a spiritual thing. It's not, there is, men will lose touch with reality if there are no structures and monuments to remind them. These things are not, they are not some, you know, this is, the exaggeration. Now, of course, I believe in the, the message of grace. Don't get me wrong. But I'm saying Benny Hinn and, 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 and Sidroth calls it the hyper grace message. When it is pushed out of the boundary, right? There are monuments that have choked the design of this antichrist system. Certain emblems of the spirit upon currencies, upon lands, churches that were built where revivals happened. Every time you want to build an antichrist system, when you see these monuments, they, they represent the presence of God in territories. And right now they are breaking them down in the name of excavations, in the name of westernizations. They are breaking, they are cutting humanity away from the history of godliness. Right? They have manipulated laws such that if you have a child like this, our dear lady right now, she can decide to tell her mother that she wants to get married. This baby. And if you take her to court, be sure you will lose. Because that's the kind of agenda they want. In two days, they would have set up a website. StopOppressingChildren.com Right? And they manipulate a news. A demonic Nigerian mother violates the human rights of her daughter. The Antichrist system is hungry for scandals. A man of God does something. Now, I'm not, I'm not endorsing scandals, but something happened. Maybe he fell, you know, into all kinds of things and they just 
they just magnify it. They use his worst picture, right? They use a nice watch like I'm wearing now and say the ones who eat our money and sleep with our ladies. Caption. Run down the ministry and do everything. They think it's a perpetuation of civilization. But what is happening, hear me, what is happening behind the scene is an advancement of the Antichrist system. Because a day will come, they will now start probing into Sunday and say, based on what do believers gather on Sunday? Right? Gradu they won't attack it now. It's too early. They will build foundations and one day, they will now say no church will operate until they are licensed by the government. And they will set question and answer for men of God. Based on theology. Oh yes! Oh yes! It will happen. And say you must be certified by the state to be a preacher. Is that true? And you must be registered with the government and the government will pay you your salary. And what that means is according to the way you dance to their dictates. Notice, oh, please, just pay attention. Uh, this is a background. We have not started today's teaching. I want to land this series with something heavy this night. Hallelujah. Then they will give pastors uniform. If it's not blue and black suit, you cannot preach. So that if I am poor and I cannot afford a thousand dollars versace, what does that mean? The message will not pass. Are you getting what I'm saying? And then they will now reduce our service time to 45 minutes. Because they have, they have interpreted the church as a nuisance to society. The average American will tell you the church is a nuisance. They will say all they are doing is raising money. And then in the fear of that, churches have become welfare organizations just to validate the offerings that have been given. And so a pastor comes and says, we are revealing the love of Jesus. We are caring for the hurting. Look, let me tell you, straight to the point, without ambiguity. Caring for the poor and the fatherless is part of the nature of God and is incorporated as part of the gospel. But if that is what we think is kingdom advancement, we are joking. Notice that all the ministries, especially outside of this country, whose agenda is all about caring for the poor and hurting, receive an applause from people. They say, yes, just stay there. Nothing more, no controversial teachings, care for the poor. And then you see one godless man partners with them and says, I'm giving you a million dollars, feed the hungry and all of that. You think that's what God asks us to come and do here? Just come and keep feeding hungry people? You see that? I'm showing you Babylon masquerading itself. And so they say, you're a pastor, 10,000 members, we feed the hungry, our church is open, once you're hungry, just make your way. Jesus died. After all, what are the offerings for? Now, look, let me tell you. Fear has made a lot of men of God to dance to these things. But it's a corruption of the strategy. It is still Babylon. Babylon is making such bold advancements. Right? Bold advancements. Look at musics that are being played. And in those musics, Jesus is acted as a slave. There are all kinds of... And they act, they act music and they put crown and mock Jesus. And people buy the albums. They sell millions per day. But you raise a song. And the company you want to promote you, they will buy it and run you down and sell it back to another. Look, let me tell you, church, I want you to wake up. There is a call. There is a need for someone to go and take the land. We have the call. And we see the need We don't feel strong enough for this But the kingdoms of this world Will become the kingdoms of the Lord So take us Break us Make us Release us We're ready to go We are ready to go 
ready to go ready to go sing it one time with me i'm ready to go ready to go ready to go ready to go say anything and do anything that attacks this government and the first thing they will do to you is to try to stamp you down but if they find out that you are operating by an a, by a principle that is higher than their wisdom the next strategy is to negotiate with you they say after all we are not enemies it's just different sides of god why fight it is true we all believe in jesus but the question is as what as what i can believe in sam but as what it's not just to believe in jesus there is something about him you must believe so you see, the world is saying, no, 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 come on. You guys are fighting. We all believe in Jesus. But the question is, as what? Because they want you to settle and say, we are all believers. We are family. Hold my hands. We are one. Right? One big family. The sun just exploded and vomited all of us. It's just that we are, we are so old, we don't know ourselves. So we are one big family. I need you to survive. The question I have for you is we all believe in Jesus as what? Right now, even preachers cannot say Jesus because it's offensive. So they say God. Exactly, they are walking based on the mapping of Babylon. Because it's easy to turn God into anything. God is a bottle of minerals to some people. Fanta, right? God is a beautiful lady to somebody. God is a fish. I have a picture um, on my system. A woman that lay down with her sweetheart. Sardine. Sardine. Fish. Fish. Sardine. Right? Lay down. No, I have it. The woman lay down in such atmosphere of love and romance. And the fish was there lying down. That can be God. And you have no right a system has been created that you have no right to probe it. Are you getting me? Very soon they will teach our children that there is no male and female. So a child of seven years will see you and say, good afternoon, ma. If you don't answer, they will take you to court. Because they will now say, what is the basis of male and female? Are you getting what I'm saying? Behold the emergence of Babylon. We are distracted trying to be MOGs. We are distracted building ministries and cathedrals. And Babylon is flourishing effortlessly. But in the name of Jesus, there is only one resistance to this agenda. It is called the Ecclesia. God's apostolic and prophetic strategy. And tonight, very briefly, I'm going to be unveiling to us what the church really is, what our mission is in the earth, and the strategy for the execution of this project. God bless you guys. Please sit down. Write this word down. Ecclesia. E double K L E S I A. E double K. L-E-S-I-A Ecclesia The first mention of this word Theologically speaking Is in Matthew 16 verse 18 When Jesus says um, Upon this rock I will build my Ecclesia Right? I will build my church I will build I will not contract it I will build my church and it says the gates of hell shall not prevail that means I will build it and put in it resistant components such that no matter the assault of the gates of hell it will not prevail say amen so the church was designed to succeed and it will not fail in the name of Jesus Christ 
The church is not just a congregation of people. Watch this. The church is not just koinonia, one ministry, this ministry, led by a general overseer or superintendent or priest or, or apostle or prophet or whatever it is. No, no. That's not the scope of the understanding of the church. The first understanding of the church I want you to have is that the church is God's strategy for kingdom advancement. The church is God's strategy. It is a strategy, not just a people. It's a formula. The church, the ecclesia, is a spiritual strategy. God himself designed that strategy. He died to raise that church, that ecclesia, that will judge the powers of darkness, that will restore the ordinances of the kingdom. Are you getting what I'm saying? Everybody say the church. Number two, the church is an institution. The only institution in the earth where the agenda, the blueprint, and the strategy for kingdom advancement is supposed to be taught, understood, explained. The church is an institution. The only institution commissioned by God himself as the center for kingdom advancement the prophetic and apostolic platform where men are made to understand the precepts of the kingdom where the history of the dealings of God with man where his blueprint where the speakings of God to the nations will come about through are you getting blessed and then number three the church is also the name given to the people, the congregation, the individuals who will carry out this agenda, this mandate, this assignment of kingdom advance. So the church is a strategy. The church is an institution. And the church is the collection of the people. If you do not understand this about church, you're going to church on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is only religion. Right now we go to churches, we go to church on Sunday, on Friday, on Wednesday, all kinds of activities. Yet the average believer in Nigeria does not even know why the church is there. The church is a strategy. Say after me, the church is a strategy the church is an institution the church represents a people god's own people the body of christ the battle acts that he will use to terrorize the gates of hell it's very very important jeremiah 51 verse 20 tells us he said thou he was speaking about the church the church is my battle axe like a man going for war and he holds the tool that he will use to fight and god says the church is the tool i am holding you are my battle axe you are my weapons of war i will use you to break in pieces this system i will use you to crumble this system this godless antichrist system listen our generation will not be the first to crumble the antichrist system it has been crumbled again through history. So don't you say it's impossible. Remember in the days of Noah. What happened? God used a family as a type of the church. Noah. Right? He, create, he revealed a strategy through that man. They became an institution that brought the animals to safety. And judgment was declared. And Babylon fell. Is that true? We see again Elijah the Tishbite. Alongside the 7,000 prophets under the custody of Obadiah. Right? How that they judged the altars of darkness. They slew all the prophets of Baal. Fire came from heaven and consumed it. Is that true? 
and there have been many other instances of the victory of the church so i want you to know that the church was designed to win the only difference is that our generation will culminate the last victory that will usher the king let our king be lifted up oh son. this is the song uh, we will lift up the king like a trophy our generation will do it at the end of all things we will look at ourselves and say jesus you be lifted high higher above un above the african union by a system that has not yet been revealed jesus you be lifted higher higher be lifted higher jesus you be lifted higher higher be lifted higher just sing it one time Jesus, you be lifted higher. That's the prophecy that is upon our generation. Listen, that is the prophecy that is upon every single one of us. Whether you realize it or not, our generation will return the King of Kings. We will prove to Babylon that Jesus lives. We will sing those songs of victory at the end. When all this is done, the Bible tells us, Babylon the great is falling. The kings will stand as they watch this city born in one hour. It will be a speedy walk by the church. The kings will watch their wife, Jezebel, in ashes as the church begins to sing the songs of victory we will exit out of this earth as a victorious church are you hearing what i'm saying we're not living as some fearful people saying ah thank god no 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 not just people who they have slaughtered here and there with the sword and we say we survive uh -uh. there will be a flawless contention of the church it will happen for a very short time and then we will hear that trumpet our king the captain of this army he will appear we will stand in the golden city in the new jerusalem and our tears and all our sorrows will be no more we will sing with the host of heaven and cry holy is the lamb holy 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 is the land this is what will happen this is what will happen but before it happens we have a strategy the church the ecclesia is a strategy it's an institution and is a people oh i see this countless times in the vision of the lord there's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. Yeah. There's an army rising up. They will break every chain. Break every chain. Listen. Judges chapter 6. Don't turn there. An angel appears to a weak man called Gideon. And says, oh thou mighty man of fellow. And Gideon says, no. Don't call me a mighty man. Babylon has taken over. The Midianites have invaded the system. I am the least, the last born. And even in my father's tribe, I am. He said, don't worry. I am not looking for your strategy. There is a plan. Just be available. While that was happening, the Midianites were enjoying the show. There was no way they would have imagined 
that Gideon and 300 men will bring justice. But Gideon, he said, if you claim the revival is coming, where is the anointing? Where is the mantle that our fathers had? Because they had something that made them do what they did. Right now, don't talk to me, please. When Beyonce and Jay-Z and all of these people are invading the systems. When right now, you must bow down directly. Right? When all the godless people are the billionaires in the world. Leave me alone. That was a type of our generation. And the angel called him by the future, not the past. He called a man who was hiding like the church. Hiding so that they will not criticize me. Hiding so that my church will grow. Hiding so that I will attract money from government. But the angel said, Oh thou mighty man of fellow. One time, a little boy ran in from the wilderness to bring food for his brothers. And he saw a beast roaring called Goliath of God. And the Israelites were chickening out. And he said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? There's an army ha, rising now. It has happened before. There's an army rising Listen, when Gideon mobilized the army, just like God is using us to mobilize an army. Everybody was shouting, but some were still afraid. They were wondering, will it happen? And at a point, God said, Kai, I want to do mighty things. There's so much unbelief. Separate them. Use water. The word. Let me see their response to the word to separate them. Those who give priority and address the word in a certain posture, may they qualify to lead the team. Only 300 men were found. And God said, Gideon, you are small, but do you believe that I can go with you? And Gideon said, let's go. Kingdoms rising against kingdoms. You will see small men. You will see ordinary men with an anointing that has never been seen. With an unction that has never been seen. With a dimension of wealth that has never been seen. It will happen. The church is rising. I told you the church is a strategy. And part of the things that will be given that church is the hidden wisdom of God. The Bible says that we speak this wisdom in a mystery. It's not just tongues. There is a strategy. The reason why it will not be revealed now is because we are not ready. When an army is ready, are you following me now? Joshua was angry and sad. Moses had died. And in Joshua chapter 1, he was, oh, thank God, his name is Joshua. Mm. Standing before 2.5 million people, full of fear and unbelief, a fortified city called Jericho. And the Lord said, don't mind what you are seeing while we look not at the things that are seen. Don't mind it. It looks too solid, but there is a strategy. I told you the church is a strategy. It's not that the church has it. The church itself is a strategy. And the Lord called Joshua and said, Moses, my servant is dead. He said, as I was with Moses, with the same anointing, as I was with Smith Wigglesworth, as I was with Maria Woodward Eater, with the same mantle, the same unction, I will be with you. He said, only be thou strong and of good courage. Only be thou strong. I'm sure the Israelites were in their camps just talking and saying, this young guy, he brought us here to kill us. And I can imagine angels moving around Jericho saying in seven days, Madeka Paladaba, in seven days, what you see as solid as it is, made from concrete and granite will become history. Because through faith we understand that the things that exist are held by an immaterial force. And when that force is manipulated, the things that are real will crumble. Our concept of reality has been altered. This looks solid, but by the word of the Lord it will disintegrate as if it never existed. Hallelujah. And then Joshua encouraged the people, said stand strong. And then when they were ready, the Lord said, Joshua, come. Let me reveal to you the strategy. 
here is the strategy for conquering Babylon in that dispensation you will do stupid things this is the strategy gather the priests. where are the worshippers let them lead and let me have the trumpets and the ancient instruments of worship they may not make sense he didn't say get a knife right he didn't say go for war he said you don't worry they would have said uh uh our fathers went through the red sea he said no i have different types of strategy there are times i can tell you stand still there are other times i can say go around the mountain seven times it doesn't matter what strategy just know that there is always a strategy for every dispensation are you following what i'm saying now they went round, and i'm sure the people in jericho were just looking and laughing five chariots could stand on the fence of jericho meaning even if it falls it becomes another fence and while they were moving with all kinds of fear having the readiness to judge every disobedience when your obedience is complete and on the seventh day in all kinds of fear god called joshua again and he said son this day i will exalt you among the people this day all that you have said will come to pass and joshua said we will go around seven times and at the seventh time the strategy is called tehila it's a mystery shout it's a shout where the instruments and the voices of men coincide it activates a lot these men do not know in the spirit and at the seventh time that apostle stood and said shout and as they shouted i'm sure those people were surprised when the earth opened up it was a sound that caused the earth to open up and it swallowed that fence except the partition of rahab in one hour jericho that great city that made a boast against the god of israel in one hour babylon is falling listen if you do not know god your heart will fail to ever think a revival will come upon the earth because babylon is a noisy system it makes noise they have insulted the church of the lord jesus christ did you hear what they said when they fired the missile to Israel? They said their God caused a wind to blow the missile. Manda balakataya. You fire a missile, a mystery wind shifts it from a nation to the sea. That's a foretaste of the present power of the kingdom. Man, that act has kept the nation in silence for a while. You fire a missile, well targeted with superior technology in the air brothers and sisters the israelites were just moving around and say you don't know abraham that's why you are doing this nonsense you don't know our father you don't know the covenant upon which we are standing and brothers and sisters the same wind that blew the red sea i'm telling you what has happened in our day a wind blew it away there is a strategy it is they that know their god that shall be strong if you don't know your god you will be weak those witches and wizards will look at your family let me bring it down and look at you and vow pray and fast they will tell you nothing will rise but when you get the strategy you will see how cheap he is don't you think your prayer and coming maybe if i'm talking of nations nations there does not just mean america and the rest your territory look at the speakings of the beast in our homes a herbalist gets up and tells you i killed your father are you hearing me and i'm going to do the same thing and he goes back to sleep you are crying because there is no strategy let god give you what will make that man not sleep pharaoh 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 himself that wizard called pharaoh he refused to let israel go and god said that's right you touch my son i touch your son and he killed his firstborn the very future of israel of Egypt listen do you know why Egypt prospered Egypt prospered because of a blessed man called Joseph the moment he died they forgot the God and the blessing and the covenant that brought them into that state and when he said let my people go it was hunger that brought them to Egypt right hunger is still bringing men to Egypt it was hunger and famine that brought them to become slaves 
is God speaking to us the Lord revealed to me certain things and I'll just share two of them and then we'll pray what is kingdom advancement let me teach you tonight what kingdom advancement is many times we collect offering in church and say Lord let this be used for the advancement of your kingdom and the preacher who is saying it does not even understand what he's saying what does it mean to advance the kingdom number one kingdom advancement involves submitting to the person of Jesus Christ Acts chapter 2 from verse 37 to 38 when Peter preached they said men and brethren what should we do he says repent right and believe okay I thought it's projected that scripture believe in the Lord Jesus Christ repent listen there is no kingdom advancement when a person does not submit notice my choice of words I didn't say match out and say Lord Jesus Lord Jesus I confess you I confess you no 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 kingdom advancement is when you submit you submit your entire life it's not enough for Jesus to become Savior he must become Lord and he must become King these dimensions must be experienced it says believe every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ look let me tell you we have a seeker friendly generation that is very ashamed of letting people know that the heart of the Christian experience is not just repenting and coming for an altar call and you say in five years I've saved two million people to what degree have they submitted to Jesus Christ not God not God not God Jesus the son of the living God I believe in God I believe in God I believe in a bottle of minerals I believe in one idol no it's not just God Jesus the Christ not the footballer not the actor in Mexico Jesus the Christ the son of the living God it is important that the beginning of the structure of your Christian experience how many people do we have in our churches we have never probed into the sincerity of their decision to submit to the government of God there are elders in church right deacons pastors bishops apostles who obviously do not submit to the government of Christ they have verbalized Lord Jesus come into my heart forgive my sins but their life they have not taken advantage of the grace and the substitutionary work of Christ and the grace that it supplies the centurion said for I am a man under authority kingdom advancement hear me first starts in your life when you submit to the lordship of Jesus in totality our Christianity is not rich because we have declared but we have not submitted that's the revelation behind the baptism comes from the word baptizo it means to be partially or totally immersed in a fluid such that you look at the man and you cannot see him again only the fluid that he's in is a type of being baptized into the authority the name and the government of the Christ say amen listen this is very important this is the beginning the foundation don't confuse this this is the foundation of kingdom advancement submitting to Jesus Christ not God Jesus the Christ the son of the living God Jesus son of God I believe in Sing it one more time. Jesus, Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. Say after me, I believe in Jesus. 
Say it, I believe in Jesus. I believe he is the son of the living God. I believe he is my Lord. I believe he is my savior. Listen. When you go back this week, I want you to examine not just that you believe in Jesus, but what you believe about him. Don't let seeker friendly messages just tell you just believe in him, right? Jesus, or you say, God, I love you. Help me to love you. Help me to feed the hungry. Help me to greet prisoners. That's not salvation. You are not born again. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Charity is not the pathway to salvation. It is good. We do it as a ministry. Hallelujah. Number two. Kingdom advancement involves bringing nations and territories to submit to Jesus Christ. Bringing nations and territories to submit to Jesus Christ and subscribe to his principles. So that experience that has happened to you, submission to the person, not just the principles, the person. There are people who have submitted to the principles of Jesus Christ. They are getting rich by it. They are being saved by it. There are unbelievers who don't love Jesus, but they tight. They connect to the law of seed time and harvest. And the heavens are opening. They are rich, but they are going to hell. You must bring nations to submit first to the person before the principles. Never ignore introducing men to that person. Not just as a cruel king, but as a savior. As Lord, as King. Jesus said, no man comes to the Father except through me. He said, I am the way, not one of them. Definite article, I am the way. So all of that gospel of universalism, many ways to Jesus, many ways to the Father, right? No. It says, the sheep, or how did he put it? It enters through the door, right? I am the door. Every other man is a window. Listen. Part of the call of the ecclesia is by the agency of the spirit to compel nations, hear me, not to feed the hungry. That's not our priority. It is part of the package but it is not our priority. If no one has told you, Joshua Selman is telling you tonight, listen to me, that kingdom, the core of kingdom advancement is bringing nations and territories, not just to the government of heaven, introducing them to the person of Christ. That word government can be deceptive because someone can be among the people of God, tight like them, Speak like them, but not know they are God. Right? Christianity brings you into a relationship. We want those nations to experience that there is a God who is not just an idol to be bowed to alone, but a loving person that can be experienced. This is what the fathers lived and they died for. They brought a generation into an encounter, not a man. Ah, I was studying about the wealth revival and I, I watched, I watched a, a documentary on it and all through while the documentary was playing tears were coming down from my eyes I saw the picture of that man Evan Roberts a man who was mightily empowered of the spirit he did, men will read about the revival in newspapers and from the newspaper an anointing will break out Railway factory workers, people who fetch coal to put, right? People who were miners, they started prayer meetings. The fire of God broke out in all these mining places. There's gonna be a great awakening. There's gonna be a great revival in our land. 
There's gonna be a great awakening And everyone who calls on Jesus They will be saved Can we sing it just one time? There's gonna be There will be a great awakening Pioneered by Nigeria Pioneered by Africa, a revelation of the person of the Christ to the nations. This gonna be and everyone. Yesterday we were in Joss. I went to minister in a meeting called the Feast of Incense. And there were all kinds of people there. You know, um, some of the armor bearers of Prophet Chuck Pierce. Many of you may know him. Chuck Pierce, one of the notable prophets around the world. And some of the people came. There were a number of people. Um, Apostle Pearl Coupe, a number of great seasoned men and women of God. And I came, I shared. After I shared for 30 minutes, the moment I was done, one of the armor bearers of Chuck Pierce, they were there and they asked me not to go. And he came and they took a mantle, Chuck Pierce's own very mantle, and they brought it and they began to prophesy. The things that the Lord was showing them about me and the revivals that would come. I'm not talking about myself. I'm just using this as, and they were all there, we were there together. And while they began to prophesy and speak, Hallelujah. I stood there listening to them and I knew that this was God is transferring mantles from region to region. And after everything, they just gave me the mantle. They said, it's yours. Go with it. Yesterday in the night, I took it out and I said, Lord, what is this? What, what is the meaning of this? Because I know that this is not just about a man carrying a mantle. What, what does that mean? And then the Lord began to reveal to me that this is part of the strategy of the revival that is coming. Lord, pour out your spirit on all the people of the earth. Let your sons and daughters speak your words of prophecy. Send us dreams and visions. Reveal the secrets of your heart. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, our faith is rising. Let creation see the coming of your name. There's gonna be a great awakening. It will happen in our lifetime. There's gonna be a great revival in our land. There's gonna be a great awakening. And everyone. They will be saved. In eight days from now, the election of Nigeria will start. For some of us, we have watched it like a movie. It's not for me to come and broadcast it, but we have seen it. Ah! There's going to be a great awakening. There's gonna be a great revival in our land. There's gonna be a great awakening. 
So the prosperity, the anointing, the influence, the PhD, and all of these things, they are all tools that are supposed to put you in a position where you should introduce your sphere to the person of Christ and to his principles. Look up. Let me balance an erroneous teaching about kingdom advancement. Have you heard of the teaching of takeover? Now let me balance it. Because I want you to know that what many preachers have preached called takeover is not what will happen. That is not what God is building right now is the spiritual dimension of his kingdom. This earth and this heaven will pass away. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Kingdom advancement is not the day when railways start working in Nigeria. Right? And all of a sudden we build skyscrapers and we say, my goodness, this is the glory. That's not how it's going to happen. Our generation will not be the ones to bring that. That dimension of the operation of the kingdom will happen when Christ himself returns with his church and his feet touches the mount of Jerusalem the center of the earth he will reign for a thousand years in glory and majesty and during that time there will be a demonstration of peace as has never been seen listen to me if your ambition about kingdom advancement is to make every Nigerian own a car let me tell you the truth go and just go to Forbes business school and after that join them in the crash of Babylon that's not the ambition the ambition is to build the formation of the person of Christ in individuals and nations first of course if the person of Christ is embraced and his principles are adopted territorially the earth will begin to respond to the excellency of those principles but I want you to know that the focus of God right now upon the nations is to introduce the person of the Christ to individuals, to territories, and to nations. So, the seeker-friendly message of just going to buy toys for children, right? And then we give them toys and never tell them anything about Jesus. And as we give them toys, we kiss them. Mwah, mwah, mwah. All of them. They are going to hell if we do not present the person of Jesus. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Whether Guarantee Trust Bank partners with Eternity Network International to do a business sensitization exercise and help people who are suffering financially. Thank God for those initiatives. But my brother, if it does not culminate into a direct revelation and submission of the Christ, it is part of Babylon. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh, many of you are shocked now because I've insulted your ambition about what you call kingdom takeover. So there are many gullible people. They are saying, oh, hallelujah, a time will come to pass when everybody in Nigeria will be driving a BMW. If that is the revelation you got, that was divination. Not the spirit of the Christ. The formation of kingdom advancement is spiritual. Everybody says spiritual. That's why we need miracles and signs and wonders. That's why we need the operation of the anointing. That's why we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Because for now, when his person is revealed to the nations to authorize his coming, because Jesus will not return when opportunity has not given to the nations to hear his voice and to willfully choose whether or otherwise they will subscribe to his government. He said this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached as a witness to all nations. After that, the end will come. Say amen. amen. So listen to me. If God makes you a businessman, you are an envoy there to present the Christ first and then his principles. It doesn't matter in which order they come. The most important thing is that eventually the ideology of the Christ. Listen, this issue of trying to blend into society with diplomacy. There is a level of your pursuit for God that diplomacy can no longer hold. Are you getting what I'm saying? It does not mean that you are in a corporate gathering, a business gathering, and you begin to express some kinds of fanatism. No, there is wisdom. But I'm telling you that eventually, 
the core of your ideology and belief must be let out. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I believe in Jesus. I believe him as the son of God. And we will use everything as a tool. When we build the schools, it is because we are building Christ. Right? Very important. If all you do is build orphanage, almost every lady wants to build charity organization. The question I have is, do you just want to feed the hungry or give them the bread of life? We have many charity organizations with all kinds of people there. And Jesus is never presented to them. And the people come and we clap for them. We say, Madam so 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 and so, a humble woman. This is 15 years of active charity. She's a human activist. This is the trophy they give her. All of that is nonsense. It's still Babylon. If Christ is not at the center of our activity, I'm telling you without any ambiguity, you are part of the building of Babylon. So I desire to be a multi billionaire Why? Because kingdom advancement is capital intensive. Are you getting what I'm saying? It will require a dimension of funding that is selfless to be able to bring that agenda. So uh, for the sake of thy house, I will desire your prosperity. If I want the anointing, the reason is so that the nations can see the manifestation of the glory of God in miracles and signs and wonders when the eyes of the blind are open and the deaf hear and all kinds of things happen the glory of Jesus is revealed to the nations to the end that his person will be embraced hallelujah this is the assignment of the church to bring the nations to the lordship of Jesus Christ to bring the nations, not just by sharing tracts and what we call evangelism. Because that strategy, I'm sorry to tell you, to a large extent will not bring a serious harvest. There is one strategy that the church has, has got to use and it's called influence. Influence. One word. Influence. Influence in wealth. Influence in grace. Influence in government. Listen to me. Don't you let anybody tell you that you should not build a bank just because you are a Christian. Build it. Build it. If it is in the name of the Lord, it will be a tool. Don't let anybody tell you the anointing is not useful for kingdom advancement. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Jesus himself is going to be lifted and glorified through our lives. I've told the Lord that for as long as I live, directly without any ambition Jesus will be glorified in my life hallelujah this is why I live this is why I move this is why I have my I don't have so many plans every plan I ever bring is my contribution to seeing his kingdom come that's what you should call purpose right so what is your purpose to be great for what Say, so everybody in my family has, has refused to rise up. Me, I will break that chain. Yes, we want the chains broken, but to what effect? Just to prove a point that your father was a failure, your mother was a failure. No, sir. Jesus, you believe that I am. That's why we do all that we do. Higher. Believe that higher. Jesus, you believe that I am in my life, Lord. I believe that I am. That means if, come, these two ladies, come and hold my hands. If these ladies are beautiful and your beauty does not directly reflect the Christ, let me tell you, you are building Babylon. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you are beautiful, listen, listen. I'm showing you that everything, okay, everything around your life must lead to exalting Jesus the Christ. A guy looks at you and says, ah, you are beautiful. And then he says, you are just laughing. Instead of you to remember immediately, I'm an envoy. 
I'm an ambassador. How can I take advantage of this opportunity? I'm not saying follow him home and say, Joshua, say, I'm say go and preach. And, and land in trouble and it, it backfires on you. That's not what we're saying. But we're saying that, are you that passionate? Somebody brings out a bribe and says, take. And you hold the money and say, I appreciate this. But I want you to know that there is an agenda. I am an agent of the advancement of this agenda. This is five million. Mr. Man, take your money. <laughs> Some of you are looking at me and say, lie, lie. That part, that part of the deal will happen later, not now that I need money. That's why you won't get it. That's why you may not get it because God has seen your heart. Do you love God that much? Do you love God that much? Sisters, have you not seen that it was the beauty of Hadassah, Esther, that brought the salvation of the Jews? Have you not seen that a woman's beauty acted in an apostolic and a prophetic office? Have you not seen that the strength of a man called Samson brought grace? Have you not seen that the wisdom of a man called Bezalel helped in the building of the temple? What do you have that has not submitted to this agenda? Tonight, you must submit it. What do you have? Lord, I love you, but my job is for my stomach. My commitment in church, I'm a sanctuary keeper in the church, that's enough for you. But when it comes to this job, it's for me to chop. It must come under the government of Christ tonight. We are going to pray. Bless you. To yours, to yours, oh Lord. To yours, to yours, oh Lord. I went for a meeting and a very beautiful phone was given to me. People give me all kinds of gifts. And um, I remember last year when I met my elder sister, I told her about all the phones that come and how I really don't need them. I give people and my sister. I said, what is all that one? You know, you know, ladies, kingdom advance, eh, kingdom but ah, let's let the people enjoy as it's passing. You know, and so a phone was given to me, I think it was last week or over the weekend. And then I just, I just felt like blessing my sister with it, my younger sister now. And I gave her the phone and she was very happy. And I said, how many people will die to hold this phone? It was a gift. But because we have an affinity to it. Say, ah, Lord, I won't let it go. Not for nothing. If you buy it, yes. If you have that kind of attitude, you will never get the anointing. You will never get prosperity. You will never get grace. God will only give you what you can give him back. When you become a distribution channel and you say, Lord, let me be your treasurer upon the earth, you will see wealth that you cannot account for. I'm teaching you ancient secrets. God is looking for treasurers, men who will be custodians of the wealth of the kingdom. God is looking for men who he will deposit his glory and his anointing and his mantle upon them. But the problem is that what is meant for the building of the kingdom becomes our personal property. There is absolutely nothing in my life that I will lose sleep for this night. Nothing. That it left and I don't sleep. What? No. Have you come to that point in your life? Please listen to me. I'm just charging us so that we'll pray. Have you come to the point in your life where if that shirt is missing, you will fast for seven days and say it must come, it is mine. It was given to me. Right? There's a film I recommended for us to watch some time ago, Lord of the Rings. Right? See that guy, what's his name? That ugly thing, that creature. It died with what it wanted. Together, Babylon is falling. It held it even in death, that ring. He wanted it so badly, he died with it. That's what happens to anybody who loves things. There are people who love power. Oh God, I want anointing. You are fasted 
But the reason is not for the building of his kingdom. The building is so that you will get an anointing. Some want prosperity. So that when you see poor people, you just come and say, see, this watch, I hope you are aware that uh, God can bless people. Where are you even from? If that is your concept of prosperity, it will be far from you. Tied your life, nothing will change. To yours, to yours. Koinonia, hear me. Tonight, you must come to that point where you realize that everything in your life must respond to this agenda. This is the mystery of long life. Not just confessing. There is a way you're all. I want to marry. To what degree will your marriage see to it that his kingdom is built? That's why Hannah never got a child. She went to Shiloh crying. Lord, Penina is mocking me. And God said, it's too small a reason. And when Hannah changed her motive, she said, oh Lord, you need a prophet to judge Israel. Let my womb carry that prophet. That prophet will directly support you. She didn't pray twice. Once and the answer came. There are many of us until you tell God what that marriage will be. Lord, a rich man. Hey! A rich man. God says, I don't have a problem. But how is it going to influence the kingdom? Because I told you, the gates will never open until you declare your allegiance. Lord, I want to be a CEO. Give me multi-millions. And God says, I don't have a problem. To what degree? I say, Lord, I don't like that one. When we get to the bridge, we'll cross it. God says, you are joking. You are talking to the all-wise God who sees your heart before you start. The secret to receiving the investments of the Spirit in our lives is total surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I want to know you more. I want to know you more. I surrender. I surrender. Lord, I want to know you more. I want to know. Listen. Lose affinity for things. I'm telling you this tonight. Lose affinity for things. Let there be nothing in your life that you cannot give God. Sister, if that brother is an idol, I vow to you, God will take him. Not because he hates you. But his jealousy will fight anything that is not him in your life. There is nothing in my life today that I cannot give God. Nothing. Money. Grace. If God tells me this is the last koinonia service, we will never have koinonia again. I love him that much. I'm showing you the secrets of grace. Don't just say there is an emergence. Not everybody will be featured in that army. The hallmark of that army is death death God can give you a chip today of 20 million and say son sell it and let the money go and in 5 minutes you have called the dealer come and pick it with joy in your heart and brother may God give you a wife that will not stop you from obeying God there are some there are some sisters sisters let me talk to you if you allow your affinity for things to stop the man that god gives you god comes and says so this seed and the wife says honey you see but the way this your thing i will leave you and all of a sudden the man says god no i'm this my wife is going to leave me i look forward to a generation where a husband and a wife can take their eyes he can give and they will hold their hands and cry but they'll say I surrender mm. I surrender the way that brother is desperate about marrying you he can't give anything to God he loves you 
the moment he started asking you out he followed you to koinonia for three weeks the day you said no you never saw him again that's what he will do to you when he marries you because when men want you they do everything rose of sharon right lily of the valley but let me tell you you must show men the difference between them and the christ in your life my father can go my mother can go anything can go for his majesty i want to know you more. this is how god brought me to the place of the anointing i don't know how others are getting their own but i tell you the anointing will never come to your life until you die at that point your voice will become like that of the sons of thunder you will speak and nations will hear because you are speaking from the fountain of death something has happened to you the life that i now live i live by the faith of the son of god for i am a man under authority and on the strength of that authority i can tell sickness go and it will go i can tell the nations go it's not just some loss um, there is a circumcision happening to you church god is looking for an army but it's not enough to be available you must be usable and part of being usable is to die i believe that there are before the end of this year there are multi-millionaires that will rise from this place the lord showed me from the beginning of the year but this is not just money mongers buying cars to say ah poverty has whipped me now is my time to revenge if that is your agenda you are not in the list i guarantee you there are strange levels of anointings that will come but these are men who will stand and while the nation is applauding them like lecrae sang they will be like a trailing star and pointing and saying i'm not ashamed there is one mightier than i there is one mightier than i i'm just a representative you watch an emergence of this army they are not just preachers they are apostolic businessmen they are apostolic musicians ministers with fire and grace they will arise like an infant of fire nothing able to stop them but the lord is asking you tonight as we round up this series of the emergence do you see yourself as being part of this army listen for some of you your families cry and fasting for years is dependent on your commitment it's not because God has stopped raising Deborahs. It's because many ladies have entered into carnality and flesh. That fire and that passion. It irritates me when I come in the midst of people and you don't hear them talking about God. I know we are human beings. I'm a young man. Come on now. Your passion must transcend the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. It takes a passion. If you don't talk about men, will you die? Must it always just be about men? Brother, is it always about women or money? Can't it be Jesus? Can't it be the Christ? Can't it be his agenda? There is too much noise in our soul. There's too much noise of ambition. Because we have been taught that Jesus makes men fail. But he says, seek you first pursue it with your all i was not looking for ministry if i was looking for ministry by now i would have been part of many struggling and insulting others but i was looking for him i still am pressing with all my heart because that which i've seen is only a tip of the iceberg i know he's more than this and let me tell you thank god for the lifting thank god for the names they call me but there is one desire that i may know him and the power of his resurrection this is my breath this is my cry i don't pray and say god give me tea and bread at this level i'm not doing ministry to find food to eat let me tell you i know what the blessing of god is but it has not changed me if you want god to use you you need to suspend some lusts and desires and begin to press him are you hearing me press for god it's not you that created marriage god created it he can give you a husband and a wife oh look at the motivations that drive us to church breakthrough 
I must get there. You hold your file. I'm, I'm not against all of that. But I'm just saying it has become an obsession. A man comes and he sits in front. Hoping that the man of God will see his file. Stand up and say man of God. This is a business. And the man talking is not poor. He's lost. It's an affinity. May God bring back the days. When congregations will come and all they will do is to worship God. And say Lord reveal your glory. We are that generation that will stand at the gates of prophecy. And keep knocking until that door open. May God bring ladies. Who men will call you uncommon but your conversations are spiritual I know you want love God is not against it I know you want a husband the fastest way is to love him pour your all like a drink offering and stop killing yourself young people now catch hypertension right it used to be sickness for old people but right now young people a man of God starts a ministry in two years He's having hypertension because he wants 1,000 members. Where did he keep his fire and love for God? We must return that fire. It's all I seek for. I'm not looking for anything. My God is faithful. Listen, there are three serious prayer points we are going to pray. There are some of you standing outside. So many people, I want you to cry. Three quick prayer points and then we'll pray for Nigeria hallelujah you are going to cry and say lord i make up my mind to be part of this emergence go ahead and pray whatever position you want to take lift your voice and begin to pray please pray from your heart i'm sorry lord for the thing i've made it when it's all about you it's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. It's not about me. It's all about you, Jesus. Yes, it's all about you. It's all about you. Pray from your heart. So, let this be a prayer of consecration. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I consecrate myself unto you. I consecrate myself afresh. I will be part of that army that will present the Christ to the nations I give you my beauty take it as a drink offering I give you my intelligence take it as a drink offering I give you my education take it as a drink offering I give you my financial acumen take it as a drink offering I give you my business take it as a drink offering I give you my ministry my influence Create in me a clean heart and purify me, purify me. Create in me a clean heart so I may worship you. Create in me a clean heart and purify me purify me creating me a clean heart so i may worship you cast me not away from your presence please don't take your spirit from me and restore the joy of salvation so that I may worship you. So that I may worship you. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Lord, I'm available. Use me. Let's pray the old school prayer. 
that fathers pray to get power use me oh god i'm available pray lift your voice in whatever way you want to use me go ahead in the financial realm i'm available are you praying koinonia in education i am available if you want to make me a celebrity to influence men for you i am available pray um, use me oh god not yet. i pray the prayer of my fathers i pray the prayer that made you use great men and women around the world i pray that prayer use me i vow to give you the glory the nations will see your glory use me for signs for wonders pray make me your treasurer upon the earth the grace of god which is it's the imagine of the army it's the awakening of saviors he made known unto me he showed me by revelation i will contribute my quota i will be faithful i can't do everything but i will play my part i will play my part i will play my part to see that the nations submit in order to the person of jesus christ i will play my part in seeing the fire of revival fall upon nigeria i will play my part in preserving the miracle power the power of prophecy the apostolic anointing it will not be lost in my time was not paid no no unto who his holy apostles i will go and prophets i By will go wherever please you listen. lead me. this is not human worship yeah. it didn't say reveal I the, will go. the current present truth the i will go administrative i will go wherever you lead me just the voices one time lift your voice i will go i will go listen to what you are telling him he will send some of you to nations some of you your assignment is not in nigeria he will send you if you will go not just as a missionary as a government the representative heaven, you know what to do. as an apostolic financier as an authority in your field but behind the profession is an agenda we will go there is something we will go please show me There is something I need to know. My God, I pray that you show me. Why does everybody hate me? Could it be that there is a mystery that I need to know? The Bible says when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. Please pray. Lord, why am I just failing, failing in class? It's a mystery that will end my captivity. Why an endless circle of poverty? There is a key. Hand it to me tonight, oh God. Please hand it to me. Why do I just fall sick? Why is my church not growing? Why is my home dividing? There is a mystery. I humble myself tonight. Why is the anointing scarce in my life? Why have I not access influence in the spirit? Show me the mystery.
are you praying open my eyes this is my year of multiplied grace and influence is my year i place a demand is a right because truth right properly just set up in the depth of my youth when the secrets of the lord there are secrets hear me koinonia we do business in this kingdom with secrets there are secrets we remain on the strength of mysteries pray is part of the meeting you're opening up your spirit lord i'm tired of cycles of failure what's my family there is a mystery that really bring deliverance hallelujah listen The Bible says they are alive to those who find them. And only those who seek find. They are light to those who find them. And health to their flesh. Number three. The third thing the Lord asked me to share with us tonight. Very powerful is found in john chapter 5 please give us john chapter 5 we'll read verse 1 to 9. the lord wants to reveal a dimension of himself tonight as the helper listen listen the bible calls god a beniza you know what that means the helper of men when God comes in to help you in life, you must succeed. After this, there was a feast of the Jews. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. We're reading down to verse 9. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, Bethesda having five porches. Right? Verse 3. In this lay a great multitude of... Look at the kind of people there. Successful people don't have any business with that environment. It's an environment that connoted weakness. It says, impotent folk of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. Please pay attention. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water and then whosoever excuse me whosoever then um first then first after troubling the water stepped in was made whole of whatever disease he had can you imagine that kind of frustration one person per year just like nigeria says you should wait until somebody retires or dies then they say there's vacancy you now come one person per year was a horrifying situation then the Bible says there was a certain man, no name. There was a certain man. Which had an infirmity for how long? 38 years. After 38 years, anything you cannot do is a concern. Do you agree with me? After 38 years, anything you cannot do is a concern at 38 years no child is a concern at 38 years you cannot at least move into your house is a concern at 38 years there's nothing meaningful you are doing is a concern the bible says this man had been there 38 years when jesus saw him lie now listen god is about to speak to you and knew that he had been there for how long for a the first revelation is that he knows you have been in that situation for a long time he knows 
And then the Bible says, he said unto him, will thou be made whole? Verse 7. This is what many of us are saying tonight. The impotent man answered, Sir, I have no man. I have no helper. I would have gotten the job, but I have no helper. I would have stepped into another level in ministry, but I have no helper. He says, I have no man. When the water is troubled to put me into the pool. And tonight, God wants to be a helper. He walked to him. And the man said, I have no helper. But he said, I will help you. You don't need the pool. Rise up. He can use another route. The formula had always been fall inside the water. But he said, let's ignore the water. I am here. Rise up. The formula has been be blessed after 20 years. But God is saying I can follow another route with you. Such that in one year, I can do something in your life that will surprise you. He said, I have no man. And the Lord said, reveal to my people, I will manifest as a helper. When God helps a man, you will be surprised. The Bible says, Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped marvelously helped part of the ministries of the holy spirit is as a helper he comes in to help you that's what grace is all about that where your effort stops and you say lord if it's based on my qualification oh i read whatever it is and god says i am here i can take you to another level Oh God, I'm here. I've been barren. They said I don't even have a womb. And he says, I am here to help you. Who is God speaking to tonight? You really need help. Only an arrogant person will deny the need for help. I have been helped by people in my life. And I saw how easy my life became when they helped me. Are we together now? Watch this. Benga, come. I'm trying to lift this. And my hand is i can't lift it and then a helper comes and sometimes he can even volunteer to carry everything and it makes my life easy the help of god can make a man's life easy please let me preach to you for one minute i have a responsibility over this house to tell you this and i must say it this abuse your mind from this satanic proposal coming from the media that Nigeria is in trouble. Economy, everybody shouting dollar. I'd like you to shout it, count me out. Say it. Shout it one more time. Listen, we are not irresponsible citizens. Don't get me wrong. We sympathize with what is happening in the nation. But if you dare let Satan speak to you, he will destabilize your creativity and crumble your life. People who have been irresponsible since before dollar have found a shield to explain their irresponsibility. Everybody says dollar is rising. Is it not in your Bible when men say? Are we together now? It says you will say there is a lifting up. This is not the first time the economy of the world is going into trouble. The Bible says in the days of Joseph, it said money failed. Money failed. But there was a secret that was revealed to Joseph. There is what you hold on to that this year can be the most prosperous year in your life. Listen, God is looking for every opportunity to make a statement. Afford him your life. A Christian is not one who has just received Jesus into his life. A Christian, listen, is one who operates by the principles of the word of God. Our economy is different. And by economy, I don't just mean finances. Your health, whatever. There's Lassa fever. There's what again? Huh? There's Zika virus. There's which one again? 
they are, they are there. It's the one you know you are mentioning. What of the ones that are arrows that fly by day? Have they told you on TV? The Bible. Listen, listen. Psalm 90. Don't turn there. Our time is gone. Psalm 91 said, Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day. The noisome pestilence. Right? There are diseases. You breathe them all around. It takes a superior revelation to keep you. I reject everything whose price has been paid on the cross. I will not pay another price again. Are we together? You must understand the implication of your oneness with Christ. So he wants to be your helper. Can you hand over your life and say, God help me. Truly I've tried by myself. If you don't help me, I will never get this admission. If you don't help me, I will never graduate. If you don't help me, my certificate will remain a piece of paper. I will keep mocking myself with my accolades. Listen, if no one has told you, let me tell you again, our world is a cruel and a wicked world. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to trouble anyone. You just need to be alive. That's a condition to be a potential victim. When the Lord told me this, I said, Lord, I first, I receive for myself. I receive for myself. He is my helper. When God comes in to help you, he can round off what has taken you 10 years, 10 years of captivity. Let me tell you something. It doesn't take time when Jesus is there. It doesn't take time. You will be watching the growth. This is how it will live. And you are saying, where is it? It's gone. Who is like him, lion and the lamb, seated on the throne? What is father and the ocean road to the Lord of God? You know why I raised that song? If you think there are many gods, I know that we claim we are not idols, but I will show you now that many of us have been practicing idolatry. You know why many people never believe God? We still have options. Your uncle still said, okay, let's just see what happens at the end of the month. So while you are saying, Lord, I trust you, what you mean is, Lord, I trust you through my uncle. Are we together now? Lord, I trust you through that that CEO, I met him and he said uh, he will consider my promotion. Lord, I trust you through my job. God says he will bless you and you say, I know my salary is on his way coming. <sighs> Lord, I trust you and you say, I know I, there's, there's that consultant surgeon, he's coming in next week from India and God is just arranging it such that he's coinciding with my need. Who is like him? The lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down, every ocean rolls to the Lord of Lords. Praise Adonai from the rising of the sun to the end of every day. Praise Adonai, all the nations of the earth, all the elders and the saints, sing praise. I believe God, oh, I'm a man of faith. I believe God. He says, I know whom I have believed. I've seen God help people even in this place. In this place, brothers and sisters, there is a mystery of lifting. God can take a man. You see somebody today and God can lift that person. He, he, they looked at Saul and said, where did, we can't see the process. Where did Saul become a prophet? A man sleeps as a prisoner. But the next afternoon, he's already a 
a prime minister oh don't play with the god we serve there is a mystery of the lifting of men that you are about to die after one month and after koinonia you are not only alive you are carrying the healing anointing who is this god that can bring speed to a man i'm not motivating you i know him there is a mighty god who can wipe the tears of people let me tell you this night before we pray just take away your mind from anything and everybody don't come to god with your calculation and say lord my prayer request i wrote my uncle he must answer me leave that one let god choose if god wants to use a chair to give you a breakthrough let him give it to you you've not read that god used a bed to bring bread for a man do you think if elijah had an option he would choose a bed was it not rock that brought water out from people these things were not done in the spirit it's just that we truly do not believe god we think we do but we don't there are people who are sick here right now but may never believe that god can touch them listen don't be so into your challenges that you think tonight god cannot touch you it's easy to say, okay god i'm happy i i thank you for what you are doing no you must insist hallelujah luke 18 verse 1 the bible says he spake this parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint he said there was an unjust judge he didn't fear anybody not god nor man and there was this poor widow who said avenge me my adversary and for a long time the man would not respond and she kept pestering him when you place a demand with your faith there is enough grace there is enough anointing you can argue this and watch other people stepping into their testimonies but please tonight wherever you are inside and outside don't make it look like you have come to waste your time tonight are we together god has revealed to us that he's coming in as a helper bless you my dear as a helper as a helper this ministry has been helped by the lord greatly helped by the lord I think it was last week I was sharing the testimony. We don't have the opportunity to share one tenth. And by the way, I want to challenge you. When God blesses you, don't keep quiet. You return back to where you receive the miracle and let the people of God know that this is what God has done. I shared the testimony last week. I think it was last week or two weeks ago. When Kaduna, after a meeting, just to have lunch briefly and then rush back. And I'm there and then a woman walks up to order a meal too and she's with a little son. Then I look at this woman and she was looking at me. She said, are you Pastor Joshua? I said, yes ma. And then she greeted me. And I said, sorry, do I know you? And she smiled. She said, I'll tell you a little story. She said, two years ago she came for counseling. As wretched, it was like she had come to the end of her life. I share this to encourage you hallelujah and um, she said everything was scattering she was a single mom with a child supposedly no hope for marriage nothing was working they were about to throw her out on her job and i prophesied to her and i said they were going to call her back and send her to the marketing department she should not be afraid and she said man of god that's exactly what happened and she looked at me and she said can you imagine what has happened in my life she just put her hand like this and I saw a ring. And she said, I just got married two months ago. And then, she said I should look outside. And there was a clean E-class. She said, who would believe that in two years I'll be the one owning this? My life has changed. Brothers and sisters, if you will believe, God can change your life. If you will argue, he will not argue with you. He will leave you to continue until you find enough reasons. Please. I want you to be angry today as we pray and place a demand on the throne of heaven and say lord you must answer me whenever i call you you will answer me elijah called on you and you answered him moses called on you and you answered him that's why i know 
Wherever I call you, you will answer me. Seated here, inside and outside, in all of the overflows, there are people with medical reports that if God does not visit them this night, they are dying for sure. I bring you a message of hope. The helper is in the house. There are families here who are in situations that will take a vigil for them to explain because the, the situation is so scattered, it doesn't have beginning and end. They don't even know where the problem started from. They know that they are in the middle of a situation. But the helper, when he comes, he can make every crooked path straight. There are people here trusting God for children. There are people here trusting God for a turnaround, breakthrough. Do you believe that God is stepping in? The worship team sang so beautiful and they challenged us. Do you believe that God is able to step in? We are going to pray right now. You are not praying for your neighbor. You are not praying on your request. You are going to pray for yourself and say, Lord, please, don't let me go back the same way I came. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside, please pray. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 One more prayer point. The power of God is so strong in this place. I'd like you to say, Lord, visit the foundation of my problem and set me free. Please, lift your voice and pray. What you think may be the problem may not really be the problem. Hallelujah. We're going to sing this song just seven times. And then I'll begin to minister. My goodness. I tell you, God will do extraordinary things in this place. I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from, from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting no, 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 no. to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to Go everlasting. To voices. I will praise him from, from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Praise the miracle walker from who will step into your life. Everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to One more time. Lord, we will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting. 
Hallelujah. Madam, let me talk to you, please. Yes. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. It's time for you to rejoice. The Lord is asking me to destroy witchcraft from your life and your family. Because you love the Lord, but there is a lot of oppression in your life. Is that true? Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that he's ending captivity today from your life. Right now, I command that spirit out by the power of the Holy Spirit. I stretch my hand. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing something being removed from your head. That's what I see happening. You will never be the same again. I command it out by the authority of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. And God is removing something from your stomach too. I'm seeing something leaving your stomach like a growth. I command it to go now. Right now. Right now. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to Hallelujah. everlasting. Madam, check yourself. Give her the mic. Check yourself right now. Your stomach area. Check yourself. What is happening? Look at this. Because I saw that there was something. If I don't pray for you, huh? There's a movement. There's a movement. Because I'm seeing something. Later they will tell you it's fibroid. Huh? You are you are even afraid of going to the hospital. The hospital. Yes. Because you think they will tell you it's fibroid. That's really what they would have told you. But today we cancel it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The everlasting to everlasting. Gabriel, I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Gabriel, Gabriel. Please let's save time. Gabriel, you are at that row. You are at the back. That row at the back. You are a gentleman at the back, that row there. Where is the person, please? Come out quickly. You are wearing something like brown, brown shirt or something. Is there someone like that? Who is that? Come. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Where's your mother? Eh? Because I'm seeing another woman. Your mother is here. The Lord is saying I should speak to her. Light is living from you outside. There is a woman outside. She's your mother. Where is she? Is she here? Or at, not outside, at, at the, is he at the edge of the wall or outside? Some, who is that, please? Is she here? Come, mama. God is wiping the tears of your family tonight. Everlasting to everlasting. Lord, we will praise you. From everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you. From everlasting. 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 We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Mama, you're welcome. Please stand up. This woman has suffered. I'm looking at this woman and I saw a load on your head that is reaching the roof and she's carrying it alone. Mama, please. Can you hear me? Look at this woman crying. You see, some of you don't know why. God, this is not just showmanship. There are people here just seated close to you. If they tell you their stories, your own story will look like child's play. Because this woman has suffered. Mama, you are a good woman, but listen, listen. Where, where are you? Are you in Zaria here? In Zaria, what do you do? 
I need to pray because I'm I'm seeing this is a cause. I'm a widow. I know. I'm going to pray for you. Do you know why I call this boy? They want to kill him. That's why I want to pray for him. They cut. He matter. They cut. This boy matter. They cut. I go yesterday. Yesterday we go. They say on the tenth we will come back again. Eh? What cut? He get problem. He matter. They cut. If I don't pray for this boy, as small as he is, they are going to kill him. Do I know you have a case in the court? Why would we call somebody? Like, don't don't be afraid, Mama, because this thing will even cause you problem. Um, young man, I will pray for you. Mommy, look at me. This thing is a cause. Huh? The same way they killed your husband, they want to kill this boy and leave you in misery. Huh? Mama, I'm going to pray for you. There is a God that reveals secrets to men. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm seeing a load right to the roof on your head. You are carrying it alone. I will pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is wiping your tears. I'm seeing a mother outside. The Lord is showing me a mother outside. A woman outside. Uh, it's like you are wearing her tie. But it's not like her tie. Same material. A tie like a normal this thing this is a, it's an elderly woman outside sitting just by this side of the window please i need to speak to her if there is somebody like that let's have a mother outside the lord is showing me mama i'm going to pray for you in the name of jesus for god to change your story i don't know what is in the court but in the name of jesus we will change it how old are you you are 14 you will serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. You believe that? Where are you from, Mama? I'm from Edo. You are from where? Edo, from Okwela. Where are you from? You are from Edo State. That's what the Lord is telling me because the same thing He's delivering two of you from. You see that? Mama, I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. God is destroying that spirit father i lay my hands on our mommy the back pain look at me mama the back pain you it did, it did, it did. you will be healed now amen. hold my hand amen. look at what is happening to her mama shout jesus loud jesus. father hold my hands for your glory mama look at me look at me you see something like fire moving at your back right now that pain is living right now in the name of jesus do what you couldn't do check yourself do what you couldn't do look at look at you help her cover her it will never return to you in the name of Jesus and I pray for you my friend I'm seeing you but I'm seeing two heads this is a misidentity the devil wants to misrepresent you but I'll pray for you huh your passion for God have good friends if your friends are not good leave them this night may God give you good friends in the name of Jesus Christ grace for you that anointing comes upon you takes you to a new dimension this is the woman mama you're welcome let's celebrate Jesus I'll pray for you but there is another woman I'm talking about there is another mama outside who needs to come mama I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus you have a daughter yes. where is she she's outside she's outside call her come daughter where are you please come Everlasting to what's her name Please, you had your name rush and come in. Our time is gone. Who is this? I told her to have the one. No. The woman I'm talking about has her tie. Um, it's not the same as the material. 
it's not the same as the material she's wearing i'm looking for a hair tie that looks close to it ladies now the normal scarf that you carry and tie but i will pray for you anybody that has come out i'll pray for you i don't know why she's here but i'll pray for you you are already out i'll pray for you please let's let me just minister to those that are here i'll pray for you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus please you can return back to your seat let me talk to you your daughter um, mama i'm going to pray for you the lord is visiting your family in the name of jesus christ he's visiting your family and look at me my dear god is taking delay from your family tell your mother this is your grandmother right huh who is like your mother she is oh i see I, I oh i get the story now your real mother is dead this is your grandmother but she's like your mother now oh i see because the lord is saying i should tell your mother whoever is that that she's going to lift her Amen. in the name of the lord jesus christ mama god is lifting you and is wiping your tears and the lord is telling me that he's adding years to your life believe me who is this your what but she have um, son and daughter. You have a daughter. She have a daughter, but she's my elder sister. She's your elder sister. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll talk with you. We have to really rush. Mama, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. The God I serve will bless you. He will honor you. What do you do, my dear? I'm a student. Where? In ABU here. ABU here. I'll pray for you. God is bringing favor upon your life. Look at me. You will really be a blessing to mama and make sure you bless her with all your heart in the name of jesus may that grace come upon you right now in the name of jesus bless you mama come come two of you you love jesus are you part of them come you love jesus no you are stubborn come you need to be prayed for come you don't love jesus you are you are very stubborn but Jesus loves you. You are a stubborn boy. You have bad friends. You don't listen. We have to pray for you. There is a spirit disturbing you. You need to be delivered. Let her go right now. Out! Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. I command that devil. Hmm? They want to make your sister mad. Eh? What's wrong with her? It's mad, sir. She's mad. It's, yes, sir. This is madness. She will be free right now. She came here mad. You are joking. This is koinonia. I command that spirit. She's mad. Out. You must go right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Release her hands. Release her hands. Hold me. Hold me. I command that madness. How can a lady like this be mad for God's sake? I command that spirit they must leave you right now in the name of Jesus I set you free by the spirit of the Christ Jesus for your mercy for your glory look at me look at me look at me Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. This lady is not just mad. This was supposed to be an initiation. Hold on, please. This is a serious issue. This is supposed to be an initiation into the occult. This is not just mad, like occult, fly. This is occult. An occultic thing. It's not just madness. And you, if they don't pray, you don't listen, you are small, but God will help you, eh? Don't be angry. You have to leave your bad friends. You hear me? If not soon now, you start taking a... What's that thing? That cough syrup. Huh? You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Please. Don't be embarrassed. We are not, we are not here to embarrass people. You get what I'm saying? We are not here to embarrass people. I have to pray for you. What do you do? Um, I'm, I'm vibing in Sokoto. Huh? I'm staying with my elder brother in Sokoto. 
That's not what you are doing. Hold on. Why am I seeing a clipper? I'm piping Sokoto. You say you are staying with your brother. I'm seeing a clipper. Come. You two, two of you, God needs to help you. You are a good boy, but there, there's bad influence around your life. God even needs to visit your brother in Sokoto. Eh? You believe what I'm telling you? Yes, you came from Sokoto? Yes, sir. All the way? Yes, sir. This one, where did he come from? He's staying with my mom here. Yeah. He's staying with your mom. Is your mom here? No, sir. She's not here. I have to pray for you. Huh? Um, when, I'm, when I make the altar call, I'll make the altar call. Once you just hear the altar call, just run and come out. Hmm? It's time to be very serious. Jesus Christ will help you. You're a great person. Huh? You are a great person. You don't have any business doing what you are doing. Now, what took you to Sokoto? I went to school. Are you a student? No, sir. I have not gotten to admission yet. Your school is not Sokoto. Come back. Don't think somebody will manipulate you and do wrongs for you to get this and that because what you want to do is not very good. Eh? It's not a godly thing you want to do to get admission. Let's do things correctly. Huh? What do you want to study? Computer science. This is not computer science. I'm seeing IT. Something that has to do with, with IT. And God will bless you, but you need to settle down. Because the way you are desperate for admission now, you can you do everything. Have you written jam? Um, you are writing jam. On Tuesday. Huh? Tuesday. Well, I won't say it here. Be careful. Just be careful. You hear what I'm saying, Abi? You know what I'm saying. Yes, be careful. Eh? Because you can't want God to help you. And you are already doing arranging. You know what I'm saying now? All these funny things people do for jam. What is not your own is not your own. I'm not embarrassing you. The Lord will step in and the Lord will bless you. Just hold that lady and let me minister to you. Who is this? Please, if I don't... Yes, Mama, Mama, come. Please, if I don't call you, you don't come out. Mama, I want to pray for you. You do business. Because you are supposed to do... There is business that God has been putting in your heart. Huh? Is that true? God, I see you do business. What you are getting from civil service is not enough to take care of you. And God wants to open a door for you. A business door. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to pray for you because God wants to really give you prosperity this year. Okay, thank you. Sir. Regina, Regina. I hear a name Regina. Regina, Lord, in the name of Jesus, step into our mother's life. Do a miracle for her right now in the name of Jesus. I hear a name, Regina. Regina. Please, who is that? Do we have anybody? Outside. Regina. You are outside. There's nobody. We just move to the next case. You are Regina. Come, what do you do? I'm a saloonist. You are a saloonist. I need to pray. Bad luck. God wants to take away bad luck from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's marriage was cancelled. Come out, please. Your marriage. Who is that? No, not you. Somebody's marriage. I'll pray for you. Don't worry. You were supposed to. You've even started the arrangement. They just cancelled it like this. And your heart is pain. Please come out. I want to pray for you. Let's just flow as the Holy Spirit is giving us grace. You are Regina. In the name of Jesus, God is giving you favor. Please don't sit back. This is a serious issue. In the name of Jesus, I lay hands on you. Please go back. I don't have to speak over your life. Once I lay hands on you, what do you do? I just graduated. Eh? Graduated from school. You just graduated. I have to pray for you because you love God. mind is who is supposed to they've started your marriage planning please come my sister I, I don't mean to embarrass you you get what I'm saying is to speak over your life you too what category are you here for huh? Regina okay I'll pray for you who has sickle cell S there's a sickler here now you are the one please indicate eh, sweetheart. come Hold my hands. Look at me. Father, please do a miracle for this lady. 
you have changed several genotypes in this place change her genotype right now in the name of jesus from ss to aa do it for her in the name of jesus christ my dear let me pr please um are you based in Zaria here? Are you part of our prayer department? Yes, sir. Please, be serious, eh? And pray, because uh, it's not just prayer department. After Koinonia, you can meet the media and listen to the messages. They will help you. You love Jesus, but your mindset is still very serious. And you can do anything, especially men. So please, you will listen to that message, and the Lord will help you. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, come. I don't know what happened. I don't want to ask you. Please don't feel embarrassed. Huh? When do you want to settle down? It was supposed to be December last year. It was supposed to be December last year. What happened? You called me and said I should forget about everything. The guy called you and just told you he's not doing again. Yes, sir. Did he give you a reason why? No reason. Okay, let me tell you. Weep not. God save you from heartache. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please. See, let me tell you. If you don't have the eyes of the spirit, you will be fighting God not knowing. Are we together now? I'm sorry to say, don't feel bad. Don't feel embarrassed. You see that guy? It was three of you. You are not the only one. You have been sensing that there's another lady. The other lady promised to do him something. If he doesn't leave you, that's why he, why he quietly called out of fear and all of that. That he's, he may be a sincere person, but him and women, he's even a spirit. He needs help. Let me pray for you that God will bring the man he has destined. You're a very nice lady. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon her. Father, send him to her life, the man, a, a responsible and God fearing man. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for your shame, may my God give you double. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Let me just talk to two people and then we'll... Madam, please come. That woman, can I talk to you? Please clear the way for her. Madam, please come. Please, let's pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray in the spirit. Say, Father, visit me. Madam, please look at me. I have to pray for you. Something is tying your finances down completely. Yes, sir. That's the major reason why you came. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, you were asking the Lord to visit your finances. Yes, sir. Because everybody will see you now and think things are just working, but the truth is nothing is really working. Yes, sir. You need a serious miracle in that area. That's true, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. Are you married? Yes, but now I'm out of Hold on. Place. Don't worry. You do, just answer. You don't have to embarrass yourself. Because there is a spirit. Huh? This spirit brings bad luck on your life. People come to you and then in a few weeks or months, they will now fight you. This is still what happened in your marriage. It's true, sir. Because the man has gone. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, is that true? Are you in your yes, husband's house now? No, sir. You are not in your husband's house. The yes, Lord is bringing a miracle for you. Amen. What do you do? I'm a hairdresser. Your address, sir. Do you believe in tithing? Yes, sir. You tithe? No. Don't feel embarrassed. This is the one thing the devourer is marching in and out of your life because tithing is not in place. Please believe it. It's not a gimmick by men of God. Is she your friend? Because I'm seeing light from you to her. You know her. Eh? Why have you not been talking to her about tithing? Even last week you discussed with her. No, 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 don't feel bad. Madam, please, look at me. Tithing is not a gimmick by men of God. Believe me. You understand what I'm saying? It's the access point the devil is using. Where is your husband, the man now? He's at home now. I will discuss with you, eh, madam. This is not something we will say in public. It's a very serious issue. 
but I need to pray for you. But for now, I need to pray for you. There is bad luck, and we need to pray against it. Please don't feel bad. God is about to change your life. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit. See, there is a spirit that is making this thing happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go. Release her right now. That spirit leaves you. Madam, go and prosper. You will prosper in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Um, there's a baby that is sick. I have to pray for that baby. I'm seeing a baby that is very sick. Very small baby. Sick. Your child? Is she sick? Yes, sir. What's wrong with her? She's having difficulties in breathing. Difficult in breathing. Difficulty in breathing. How old is the baby? It's five months. Five months. This is not the only baby. There's another one. Come, come. I'll pray with you. What did the doctors tell you about the baby? Syndrome. They said it's what? That is Down syndrome patient. Down syndrome? Yes, sir. We soon need doctor. Ah, you are a doctor now. Down syndrome. At least I know I don't know what causes it, but I know how it do please come, come, come and talk to us. Give us some little education. Let's cast this. Um, it's a congenital disorder. And the difficulty in breathing is most likely coming from a congenital heart disease. It mostly manifests with congenital heart disease. Then there are other um, manifestations too. From the fishy, you can um, see some of the manifestations also. I don't know what you said, but all but I know. <laughs> most likely, the difficulty in breathing is coming from a congenital heart disease. We are going to pray. This, this baby... believe that this child ah god do a miracle in the name of jesus hold him am i holding him right jesus christ father by the blood of jesus do a miracle in this child we change this situation in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit let there be a miracle in jesus name I'm seeing one more child though. Who is that? Let's go. Please hold the child. You are the one who needs the healing first. Just hold the child. I hope the child will not cry. I have to pray for you. Huh? Something is really fighting you. Huh? This is witchcraft. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command you, you know my voice. In the name of Jesus, she's been translated from the kingdom of darkness into light. And you must let her go. I'm seeing this lady in the realm of the spirit like a tree. That is, is refused from moving. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those dreams, those oppressions, I come against them in Jesus' name. Let's pray for the baby. What's wrong with the baby? She has been coughing and stooling. Coughing and stooling. Baby, how are you? In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak to you. No more coughing. In the name of Jesus Christ, perfection in your body. I release the power of the Holy Spirit upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power flows through this baby. Jesus name I hope the usher help out because I'm sensing this anointing even on her in the name of Jesus Christ baby we take away everything that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ look at me where is the man in your life okay. I'll pray with you in the name of Jesus I'm seeing something that is serious but I'll talk I'll talk about it okay 
the Lord is showing me something that is quite serious. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. There are 13 people here. There is a strong influence of confusion and stagnation. Please listen. 13 people here right now, inside and outside. I'm going to pray for you right now. Wherever you are, as I begin to pray, it's like fire. It will come upon you. Confusion, stagnation. At least 13 people I see in the spirit. Please lift your hands. Don't say anything. Just lift your hands. I'll do the praying. Let's just flow the way the Holy Spirit is praying. Lord Jesus, I'm praying right now by the ministry of angels. 13 people by the influence of the spirit. I stand under this apostolic anointing and I pray right now. Wherever you are, inside and outside, right now as I pray, that fire starts coming upon them right now. Right now, bring them out. 13 people. 13 people by the power of the Holy Spirit. I end it right now. There are still people outside, inside. That same people by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Bring them out, please. Right to the back. Right to the back. Right to the back. Right to the back. I'm seeing fire. It's like a spirit that would jump out of you. Right to the back, inside, outside. I command that confusion outside. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is resting on people. Confusion. All the overflows. In the name of Jesus, confusion must come to an end. Right now. Delay. Lift your hands. I tell you, there will be a mighty baptism outside. Outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus. When you shout it, I see altars on fire. Are you ready now? Outside, one, two, three. Bring them, bring them. Fire is falling outside. The Bible says, while men slept, hear me. There are things that tie the destinies of men. Jesus already paid the price. That's why we are doing what we are doing. The authority is that of Jesus Christ. Bring them in. Now listen. Listen, my goodness. You're going to lift your hands for your family. I see the angels of the Lord bringing deliverance for families. Listen, at the count of three, I tell you, wherever you are, I like you to shout Jesus with all your heart. Some of you, you are representing an altar of God for your family. And the moment you do that, in the name of Jesus, there will be a miracle. One, Father for families, let the soul of the Spirit go from the north to the south, east and the west of every family. Right now at the count of three. One, two, three. Families, 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 the sword of judgment. Make sure you're praying. In the 
Listen, I came out because your destiny must open up. Lift your hands. I came out to bring the atmosphere of God's presence. Hear me? There is no one here whose destiny has been tied that that spirit will remain. I'm going to, listen, I'm going to begin to walk around. My goodness, I see angels by my left and right. As I begin to move across this place, the fire of God will start falling. Right now, I stand under this apostolic office and I declare my hands right now, right now, right now. I command that right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, fire, 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 every spirit, every devil from my left, my right, outside, outside, my left, my right. Every devil, right now, I stretch my hands. Every spirit, go, 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 go. I command every spirit, right now, release them, release them, right now, release them, release them. Release them. Let them go super. Hallelujah. 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 Those of you here, lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to shout Jesus just two times. And I see like a tornado. It's like the spirit will start moving right to the back. That's what the Lord is saying I should shout. There are spirits, time men. It's your time to go now. Jesus. Get ready now. Get ready now. Jesus. Go, go. Go out. Out right now. My left and my right, I release my spirit right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Those spirits, I command them to leave right now. In the name of Jesus. Out, 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 out. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I command right now, right now. I stretch my hands towards you. Every force tying you down in the name of Jesus, it must release you right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Now, listen, those of you outside don't think you are missing anything at all. That's why I came out. I'm going to all the overflows. Those of us here, you may be outside. But let me tell you something. God will step into your destiny. Please lift your hands. Because I'm seeing chains from where this camera is right to the end. I'm seeing chains. Lift your hands. I want you to shout Jesus just once at the count of three. And everybody under that influence must go right now. Please be careful with anybody close to you so that you don't stampede them. Father, I see chains of bondage. But you organize this meeting to recover destinies. Therefore, at the count of three, it will come like fire on some of you. One, two, three. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. Let that go right now. In the name of Jesus. 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 The Lord is giving you a new song. A new song. The Lord is wiping your tears. You on green. Lift your hands. Take it now. Receive right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Mama, the Lord is saying, I should tell you, He's wiping your tears. God is wiping your tears. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying, What you could not do in five years, you, Mama, in five years, He's making to happen for you in one year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sir, I have to pray. There's delay in your life. The Lord wants me to break the spirit of delay. I hope you are not embarrassed, sir. No. Hold my hand, sir. Something will happen to you remarkably right now. Take it. That devil of delay. Out of his life right now. Out. Out. I don't know who this man is, but he's stepping into a new level. God is wiping the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing in the spirit a name, Eboyi. Eboyi State. Someone here from a boy state. God is bringing a miracle at my back. That person is at my back. A boy state. God is bringing a miracle wherever that person is. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who is Margaret? Margaret. I'm hearing the name Margaret. You are in this place. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a lady here, Margaret. I'm seeing the Lord is shining. Who is that? Come, Margaret. You are Margaret. Look at me. The Lord is wiping the tears of your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit to leave your family right now. I see a family of five ladies. None is married. A family of five ladies. The Lord is showing me. Five ladies. None is married. None is married. He's on the wheelchair. How long have you been? Seven years. What happened to you? You were shot. I'm a military personnel. Oh, you're a military personnel. Yes, sir. And you've had to leave the army because of it. Or you are still there. The service, but then you need to walk. Yes, sir. Wow. You can't feel. No, I cannot feel. You can't feel this leg right it's now. A spinal cord injury. Oh, it's a spinal cord. A lumbar problem. Yes, sir. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family of five ladies, please. I have to talk five ladies none of them is married five ladies none is married no one among them is married god needs to do a miracle please make sure that we confirm the situation five ladies so that we don't say yes. we are faking it please make sure yes yes five ladies where yes, are you from yes i'm from edo state you are from edo state yes yes you too five you two you are together oh you are his sister you are his friend so why are you here with him to back him up oh five minutes yes okay okay i'm going to pray for you right now hallelujah in the name of jesus i command that spirit there is a spirit that brings delay in your family and I take authority over that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ right now there's somebody around here you are into book selling bookstore business God wants to increase somebody's bookstore business here I'm sensing it I don't know if there's anybody here you are into selling of books the Lord is saying prophesy increase to that person oh Jordan is you father in the name of Jesus I pray for Jordan. You step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Ah, but you are not related to him. You just came out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the people here. I hope they can hear me. Hallelujah. There's somebody I need to pray for here. Call that lady call that lady you don't think distance is a barrier believe me god can fish you out from anywhere look at me i know you are standing by the fence but god is wiping your tears he's giving you a new song right now in the name of jesus i release that anointing upon you right now in the name of jesus christ god has answered your prayer you are praying that i minister to you you and your friend where is your friend where is he lift up your hands two of you you will step into an anointing uh, hold your hands together in the name of Jesus look I stretch my hands right now let a fire come upon both of you right now right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you step into a strange dimension let me talk to the people here I want everybody to be able to know that when you come for this meeting it doesn't matter where you are 
God can visit you. No, don't worry. Just, just leave the person. Grace. I hear a name, Grace. 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 There's someone with the name Grace. Is there someone like that? Grace. Grace. I need to pray for Grace. 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 And I'm hearing Garba. Garba. I'm hearing a name Garba. God is ministering to somebody. I don't know if it's a son name or a name Garba. In the name of Jesus. Garba, where are you? Your name is Garba? Your son name is Garba. Where is your dad? He's outside. He's in Saudi Arabia. He's, a, he's, he's in Saudi Arabia. Because I'm seeing God is saying, look at me. God is saying I should tell you that there's going to be increase for your family. Okay. And so, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. You have to be very serious with me. You are going to be very wealthy. You are going into oil and gas. Amen. Are you hearing me? I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. But I'm seeing that you are going into oil and gas. And God is going to honor you. God will bring a man into your life. Bless you. I'm seeing three people here. You are writing jam next week. Jam. No, no, not everybody. Hold on, hold on. Just relax. I'm going to pray for everybody. Here, where I'm standing. You are writing jam. Three people. Right in jam. Somebody is writing it for the fourth time. That person, you are the one. This will be the last time. Do you know me? Come, come and stand. What, please remind me in case I forget. This jam thing, we have to settle it once and for all. Please. People are writing this thing again and again. I curse that spirit. This overflow, these ones looking at me, please lift your hands. Not these ones, those ones, exactly. Please lift your hands. Please don't think that because of the distance, all right, God cannot touch you. There is a reason why I'm coming out with this because sometimes inside is just a fraction of those outside. And I want you to feel a sense of belonging to know that God is able to visit you and to minister to you. Hallelujah. Those outside here there are at least two of you fire is coming upon you right now i see the power of darkness being broken lord where are they right now i stretch hands in the name of jesus christ i stand upon this anointing wherever they are Father, there is a lady right now it's like fire is coming upon you right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ that fire is coming upon you all of you standing here i prophesy to you in the name that is above all names hear me whatever has tied your progress i'm talking to those here i stand under this anointing and i declare a change of story right now benway state there's someone here from benway benway um benway state you have an elder brother Please make sure that you don't come out. We are not faking this thing, please. You have another brother. Where? I'm going to pray for you. God is visiting your family. Visiting your family in strange ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that if you seek him with all your heart, he will surprise you. I hear what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a lot of families here under financial stagnation and the Lord is saying release them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please listen, listen. Please believe what I'm saying. Don't come and waste your time. God brought you here to wipe your tears. Any family here, you have tried and tried and tried. Doors have refused to open. I open it for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see somebody here. You are looking for a job. June. Um, you are looking for a job in Abuja by June. I see a job coming. This is what God is saying. I don't know who I'm speaking. But God is many somebody. Your name is Grace. Where is your mother? Kogi State. I need to pray for you because there's 
name of Jesus. I need to pray for somebody, two of you. I want you to follow me. You smoke this thing. Uh, what's the name of that? It's not just stab out. Weed. Please, don't be embarrassed. Two of you, you really smoke it. You love the Lord, but this thing is a challenge. Please follow me. Your deliverance has come. You smoke weed. Your own is not just uh, all that cigarette. Please, don't be embarrassed. Follow me and I'll, I'll pray for you. And brother here, listen. listen. God is speaking to you. You came for koinonia, but you left a lady in your room. You left a lady in your room. You told her you are coming for koinonia and you will come back. Please, don't destroy yourself and destroy that lady because your going back now is to get that lady pregnant and you'll be in trouble. God is saving you. Send her a text now to go home. You are born again. One, once I make altar call, wherever you are, please march to the front. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The power of God is coming on some ladies here. I've seen a, some at least three ladies. Severe menstrual pain. This is not, this is something that for one of you is in your family. Lift your hands, please. Just here, this region. Right now, the fire of God is going to come on some ladies. I take authority over that spirit. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. Right now. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. A lady will feel like fire on her stomach right now. It will come upon you like fire. I take authority over it. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, and there is a lady that the Lord is showing me for four months. You have not seen your period. Four months, you have not seen your period. I think you need to talk to your friend to help you because before the end of this meeting is returning. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see someone's family. Um, like relative in prison there's somebody here like that in prison one of your relatives i don't know if it's in a police station or prison something like that god is doing a miracle who is that there's somebody like that you're the one come who is in prison your nephew are you sure which prison is in gobe state how long is his tenure Five years. Five years. How many years has he done? One. One year. We are going to pray for mercy. You will not reach five years. We are going to bring him out. You believe that? Yes. Lift your hands for him. And let the name of Jesus step in and give him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your hands, my dear. Look at me. I'm seeing a crown being put on your head. You. This. Are you hearing me? God is bringing you into a new dimension of grace. Father, I stretch my hands to her right now. Right now. That fire comes upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. Let me talk to the lady with the pink cap. You, lift your hands. Beauty for ashes. That's what God is saying is bringing. Beauty for ashes. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is bringing a restoration to your family. Your family's experience is you. In the name of Jesus. Joseph. Joseph, I hear you. Joseph. Joseph, you are wearing a short dress. Joseph, you are wearing a short dress. Joseph. I'll pray for you, but the Joseph is inside the house here. Who is that? Come out. Your name is Joseph. I will pray to you. God wants to lift you. Lift your hands. Something will come on you. You are a student. You are a copper. God is wiping you. In the name of Jesus Christ, a new dimension of grace. You are Joseph. Look at me. What are you studying? Are you a student? You are done with German. What do you want to study? Writing engineering. Agri. You are going to be a businessman. And God is going to honor you. In the name of Jesus. Joseph John, where is he? Come. Why did you stop doing business? There is an anointing for you. Go back and the Lord will honor you. 
the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come. Where is your mother? Where is the village? The Lord is saying, I should tell you, the way he would lift you, all those who know you will be surprised. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord will lift you. Eh? Because I'm seeing your story similar to that of Esther in the Bible. Go and read the story of Esther. How that God can pick somebody who is supposedly nothing. Someone's sister here is barren. Who is that person? Barren. The Lord is saying it's time for the child. I will praise you. Not you or your sister. And I will your sister is barren. How many years? Six years. You follow me. How, how many years? Eleven years. Two of you come. The Lord is responding. You too. Please follow me. Madam. Look at me. Confusion is ending in your life. Come. Come. The Lord is bringing an end to confusion in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, lift your voice and pray and say, Father, you are changing my story. There is a habit God is setting you free from. It's a terrible habit right now. Be free. It's not a habit you should practice at all. God is setting you free from it. Somebody here has eye problems. No, 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 not I, I'm going to for you. There's somebody here with eye problem. Your eye pains you if you see light. Who is that person? I'm gonna bring status is changing. No more design. You get discouraged easily. I'm on my God was way saying that you should be sure not be discouraged. Who is the person, please? Lay your hands on your hands. In the name of Jesus. No more Let's go. I'm on my way to better Those days. Those things, please follow me. Status is changing. No more denial. The Lord is bringing me to a new dimension. I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord wants to release certain kinds of miracles right now. Who are all these people following me, please? Hold on. The Lord wants to release fruitfulness. Please be sensitive, everybody, inside and outside. He's using children as a point of contact, but this will affect every other area's life. Every other body's. Um, how many years? Six. Six years. Your sister, yes. where is she? She's in Zara. How about you? 11 years. Oh my God. My auntie. 11 years. Ah. Why didn't they come for the miracle service? She's in Abuja. No, 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 no. Please, don't, don't just come out carelessly. Please, please. Okay, come out. The Lord is asking me to let you come out. Please. I'm going to pray for the sick, but barrenness issue. Let's deal with it right now. Tonight, I want God to step into people's lives. I think you should honor what Jesus is doing in this place. Look at the number of issues. Believe me, when I tell you there will be testimonies. If you are standing here for yourself, just move this way. If you're standing for yourself, move this way, please, so that I know. Please, just move here. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this is God is to do. Please, this way, just let there be a separation. My, my brothers and sisters, please see how many people the devil is tying down. The Lord is bringing you into an anointing. It's a healing anointing that is coming on you. 
I see an angel of the Lord pouring like oil upon your head. You, you looking at me, something is being activated in your spirit, man. Step into that oil, that fountain. Is that healing anointing? Koinonia, please, I want you to know that this is a platform that God has created to wipe the tears of men. As we gather there every week, God is doing something. Please be patient with God tonight and let him do something in your life. Because I have to pray for the sick. I'm only going to lay hands on those who are standing here for themselves because I want them to return with the testimony. But for all of us who are connecting for other people, you, lift your hands. You, out, right now, right now. It's a curse upon the family. You are going by the spirit of the living God. Right now, you are a devil of darkness. I see you in the spirit and there must be that release right now. Please, those of us here, talk to the Lord on behalf of your loved ones and say, Lord, you must change your story. You must change your story. Those of us here, I'm going to lay hands on you by you. Please pray. Thank you, Jesus. All right, lift your hands, everyone, here. This category, just lift your hands, please. For time's sake, I may not be able to lay hands on you, but I want you to believe. Something is happening to you that is happening to your loved ones. You need to call them and believe. Many of you are receiving for your loved ones. My goodness, I hear the cry of children. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Receive it for your loved ones. Receive it right now. I open wombs, I open wombs, I open wombs. In the name of Jesus, I open wombs. I command a remembrance. A remembrance right now. In the name of Jesus. Right here, we declare miracle children. For your loved ones. Miracle children. They take in right now and nine months after now they give birth to their children in the name of jesus hallelujah please go back to your seat god bless you god bless you those who are standing here i'm going to pray for you please make sure you are married if you are not married please don't embarrass yourself go back to your seat praise the lord let me pray for those who are standing for themselves we have to pray that's why you came hallelujah Remember the testimony that God gave a woman who had been barren for eight years. How many years? Eight solid years. And God gave her triplets. They are still alive till today. Triplets. Triplets. Please, I want you to believe God. If you are standing husband and wife, no problem. You are standing for your wife, no problem. Just make sure you are married. That's the only thing we are saying. Please. I'm going to pray for you. Stretch your hands over them and pray because we will release fruitfulness right now. In the name of Jesus. I don't care what the problem is. Jesus is stepping in. My confidence. The source of my strength. Are you. The strength of my life. Are you. My hope and my joy. Are you. Hey, my confidence. Are you. Looked around and I suddenly realized that you've been so good to me. Your, Your mercy is everlasting, undenying, overwhelming. I tell you, celebrate God because this will end. Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call when I call you? Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call? The source of my strength are you? The strength of my life are you? My hope and my joy are you? My confidence are you? The source of my strength are you? The strength of my life, my hope and my joy, 
my confidence. Hey, I exalt you. Oh Lord, I exalt you. Oh, 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 Madam, go and return back with your child. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let this womb be open. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, you are coming back with a testimony. What is there has been removed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord wipes your tears right now in the name of Jesus. Where is your husband? Sir, please stand near your wife. There's a reason why the Lord is asking. Can you hold her hands? Hold on. I don't care what the doctors say. You are returning with your testimony. The Lord is giving you a baby girl and then a baby boy. I know you want a boy, but God is giving you a baby girl first and then a boy in the name of Jesus. Make sure you come and testify. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, a miracle. A miracle. But there are still three more cases we'll deal with very fast we'll pray for this just for one minute and then I'll begin to prophesy there are people who have not yet received what they came for here please just be patient with us please this is a miracle service right so that we can justify our coming please let's rise we'll just do this in one minute I'd like you to believe stretch your hands here right now stretch your hands in one minute and let's pray in the name of Jesus Christ stretch your hands towards the prayer request and let's pray prophesy over it your request is here Lord we turn it into a testimony please make sure those outside their requests are here too if they are here to collect your request just wave it inside and outside and somebody will come and attend to you are you praying prophesy father this must become a testimony in my life. This must become a testimony in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you answer prayers in this place. Let there be miracles, O oh God. Let there be breakthroughs, O oh God. Supernatural miracles. By the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of the Holy Spirit, miracles upon miracles, miracles, visit everyone, visit issues of concern in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 I prophesy over this request in the name that is above all names, that every request represented here no matter how impossible it is by the power that raised christ from the dead let every dead situation here come back to life in the name of jesus christ i pray by the power of the holy spirit my god we sang that you are not a man turn every captivity here Turn every captivity here in the name of Jesus. Now, I want to prophesy to us. Please lift your hands. Um, you don't have to bring them out. It will be... Just give me 10 more minutes, but it's going to be extensive prophecy. 
extensive prophecy I want to speak to you because I know the things that I see things in the spirit that have not yet been received we have to pray in the name of Jesus please I want you to believe God and lift your hands lift your hands hallelujah the Lord is starting off with direction there are people here who came praying Lord what is the next step of my destiny wherever you are I'm prophesying to you as I speak fire will come upon you just on your head some of you will start feeling fiery sensations on your ears the Lord is bringing direction right now I prophesy it by the power of the Holy Spirit receive it right now receive it right now right now right now supernatural direction shake parotopa help that guy in the name of Jesus every confusion in your life those outside make sure you participate someone is asking oh God what is the next step I pray by this anointing receive direction right now receive direction right now in the name of Jesus someone's marital destiny is under siege right now in the name that is above all names an anointing a yoke breaker anointing i prophesy receive it right now i open those doors right now inside outside i open those doors right now hallelujah there's someone praying you are asking god for money for rent rent the lord is telling me that between now and monday morning there is a miracle coming for you there is a miracle coming for you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there are ladies who have even guys this spell of disfavor please listen in the name of jesus you will literally feel like something being wiped out of your face I see many people being affected by this Lord where are they that mark of this favor by this anointing right now right now I break that mark right now inside outside in the name of Jesus I tell of that mark Kaparataka Latosia that mark of this favor that embargo of bad luck upon your life that makes things not to work I come against it in the name of Jesus hallelujah listen you have come to the end of your road and if God does not step in there will not be any way out I pray for you that door closed over your destiny that will not allow you move to the next level I stand under this anointing in this miracle service and I prophesy I command that door to open right now oh come on believe it believe it I command that door to open I command that door to open swing open in the name of Jesus whatever has been emerged from heaven to enter your hand and it's yet to enter your hand. Please stretch your hands towards me. Shala Kataya. In the name that is above all names. I stretch my hands back. Receive it right now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it right now. Everything that must enter your hand. Inside and outside. I command it. From the realm of the spirit. I deliver it to your hands. In the name of Jesus. hallelujah everything that has refused to grow in your hand ideas businesses please listen everything that has refused to grow in the name that is above all names return and cause it to grow return and cause it to grow i command that business grow I command your family grow. I command your finances grow. 
I command your ministry grow. Hallelujah. I pray for you. You hear me pray this all the time because I've seen what it can do in the life of a man. Where are your destiny helpers? If there is one prayer you must receive in this place, listen, God can use men to help a man. And in one day, God can bring the right people to wipe your tears. Lift your hands in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Where you have struggled and struggled with no hope of help, as you lift your hands, let an anointing from heaven land upon your life and call help us right now. Right now, right now. I release that anointing upon you for help, for help, for help, for help. Take it, receive it, the anointing. Listen, all you need in your life, one person can just tell you do A, B, C. Or I know A who can do B for you. And it can open you up to a whole new world. One more time I pray. I call them. From the north, the south. If they are in Zaria here, we call them. If they are in Kaduna State, we call them. Any part of Nigeria. Receive their ministry now. Receive their ministry now. Whoever has vowed to destroy your life, I'm praying. Oh, this is judgment. In the name that is above all names. If there is any human entity standing there, I declare, let this night be a night of judgment. Let this night be a night of judgment. Let this night be a night of judgment. Listen, when Pharaoh refused to allow Egypt, Israel go, God took his firstborn. Whatever must be taken from your enemy to let you go, we take it tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Let me tell you the truth. There are men that hold the destinies of people low. I teach you principles of success. But I'm spiritual enough to know a man's destiny can be kept at a standstill. Whoever kept your destiny at a standstill, in the name that is above all names, I put an anointing upon you. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. In the name of Jesus. Go forward. I prophesy in your career. Go forward. In every area of your life. Hallelujah. Let me speak over our finances. You see what is happening around the nation. Father, we believe in the power to prosper. And we believe in favor. Ah, There is such a thing, my brother and my sister, called favor. Lift your hands. My God and my King. That anointing for favor that was on Joseph. That anointing that made five loaves and two fish. To feed 5,000 people. Wherever you are. May that anointing come on your life right now. Kaparatata. It's coming on people. May that anointing come upon you. It comes upon you right now. Hallelujah. Some of us are moving. But our pace is too slow. That's the truth. We need acceleration. We are moving, but your pace is too slow. There are things you should do in two weeks, not three years. There are things you should do in one day. I'm praying for you. The Bible says, and the hand of God came upon Elijah. And he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. The anointing that must come upon you, that between now and next month miracle service, what has not happened from when Koinonia started, May the God that I serve 
release it into your life i command speed 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 i prophesy it speed hallelujah all those writing jam lift your hands it's time for you to move forward if you are not writing you can stand in for somebody maybe your loved ones or whatever in the name of jesus the bible says and when they were tested in all matters of wisdom hear me daniel was found 10 times better that 10 times better unction as you write your jam may the angel of wisdom cause you to pass this jam in the name of jesus there are people who suffer and read and sit there in front of that computer and don't know what to do you will know what to do in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm led to pray for those in final year i don't know why but the holy spirit is speaking to me we need to release you there are things that have come up some of us physically speaking is obvious there is trouble where is that god who can correct a man's mistake i pray for you in the name that is above all names you will graduate this year i said you will graduate this year i don't know how it will happen but you must graduate this year hallelujah the secret receive this two more and we are done the secret the ideas the strategy you need for the next level of your life i'm praying for you please lift your hands there will be a strong impartation god is releasing anointings for creativity some of you it will come upon you you will not know why but when you sleep you will see it in dreams my god i'm praying i see this thing falling on at least 40 people in the name that is above all names that anointing for creativity receive it right now right now right now right now an impartation an impartation an impartation an impartation inside outside inside outside take it take it take it creativity ideas i send them from the spirit concept right now right now business ideas career ideas hallelujah now i'm going to pray the last prayer breakthrough you don't know what breakthrough is some of you let me tell you what breakthrough is breakthrough is when the barrier standing between you and the next level is not lifted destroyed if it's lifted it can appear in your future please listen some of us what you need is breakthrough you don't even know the name of the situation you are in but i pray at the count of three i want everybody to just shout breakthrough as loud as you can and something remarkable will happen i'm seeing rain falling that's what i'm saying father this is the instruction you gave me as we shout hey, yeah, 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 yeah. somebody's husband husband somebody's husband is receiving breakthrough somebody's husband husband at the count of three one two three yes lord receive it receive it receive it malakata bababa breakthrough breakthrough i smash those barriers breakthrough in the name of jesus breakthrough i mark you with an anointing that anywhere they see you they will be compelled to bless you listen to what i'm saying i mark you with an unction i mark you with a mystery and i command that anywhere they see you 
May they bless you. Anywhere you enter, may this anointing force men to bless you. Anywhere you travel to, may this anointing distinguish you. Isaac blessed his son and said, the smell of my son is like the field. Brothers and sisters, hear me. There is a fragrance that can come upon a man that will force men to bless you anyhow. I don't know who must appear to bless you, but I'm saying it again. In the name of Jesus, I mark you with a mystery that forces men to bless you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for lifting. 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 My Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.